what's happening, guys? I'm here. Don't worry. We're here. We're, we made it. Or at least I made it for right now. Um, what's happening, guys? Sorry I'm a little bit late. We were trying to work out some uh, little kinks behind the scenes, but it seems like it's working now. Everything seems to be a-okay. So uh, what's happening, guys? Who's out there? Everybody good? Everybody dandy? What's up? Happy Friday. We made it to Friday. You guys know you love your Fridays. I'm here. Here, guys. Don't worry. What's happening? All right. There's a lot of you out there right now. For some reason, I don't know. You guys are like anxious to watch this stream. It's interesting. I mean, I didn't even announce who the guest is and you guys are like going crazy. I mean, it could be just, you know, it just could, it could be Steven again or something like that. It could be just one of the regulars <laughs> for all we know. I don't know. And you guys are, uh, yeah, but you guys are lined up out the door almost. But anyways, guys. Um, all right. So Tonight is a special night, of course. Obviously, you guys saw this. What's going on, guys? What's going on, Jason? Everybody, Matt, BBS was good. Yes, Jimmy, everybody, Alfred, what's going on, guys? Yes, we're here. Don't worry. Sorry, I'm a little late. Um, today, today's a special, uh, special stream. It's a charity stream, and uh, we were trying to work out the link and everything like that. And uh, I'm having some assistance from uh, the ladies, uh, Miss uh, Wonder Meg and Amanda. Who are helping me out here? So, what's going on, guys? Whoa! And Amanda Why just. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of night we're having right now. I tell you what. Um, <laughs> Amanda was like, "I guess she got camera shy." That's what happened. Yeah. I mean, she showed up like a news reporter. She was like, <gasps> <laughs> "There she is." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be me without it that's very true that's very true all right so uh amanda is gonna keep tally all right so here we go so when it comes to donations tonight guys you guys can donate in the uh the super chat the live chat um if you want to but there's also a link provided down below thank you jacob you already posted wow, um but when it comes to uh, when Forever. it comes to yeah, when it comes to the super chat, when it comes to the live chat, just a little disclaimer. Um, when it comes to YouTube, it's uh, it's it, it gets stuck in YouTube lim limbo till next month, so I won't be able to access it till um, for like the December twenty first or twenty second. So Merry Christmas, yeah. So if you donate, it's um, it's a Christmas donation to AFSP, of course. But we also have a download link that is uh, provided down below that uh, Amanda set up. Thank you very much, Amanda. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to directly donate, we'll do it right there. And she's going to keep track. Uh, she's going to keep a tally of uh, the donations tonight, and we'll bring her in throughout the stream tonight to uh, give us a little update on what's happening. And what Meg's going to do, she is. Uh, she's going to handle some um, social media stuff. She's going to... Yeah, she's going to be promoting on her social media what's happening and everything. And then she's also going to pull some questions from the live chat. So I'll bring her in to ask uh, the special guest some questions. And uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun tonight. So, uh, all the right. Special guys. guest is actually me. And I'm really sorry about it. <laughs> um, yeah. Before I leave again, and uh -huh. so nice to see you all, um, I just wanted to say that the link has only actually worked for five minutes now because I'm a hot mess. Okay. But we've already raised $35. $35 wow. right there. Wow. See, already starting off well. See? This is what we're talking about here, guys. All right. All right. Happy so, Friday. Happy Friday. All right. I'm going to go ahead and kick you guys out. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. We'll bring you bring you guys in in a little bit, and uh, yeah, we'll get some updates and stuff. So thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. You girls. Thank are awesome. you. All right. Okay, guys. So obviously, come on, you guys. You guys kind of know what's going on here. I mean, do you guys have a little idea of who's going to be uh, showing up right now? I think you do. But uh, let me go ahead and set some things up here before I do. Um, and hopefully you guys are having a good Friday. Like I said, it's a bourbon tree. What? No bourbon. Yeah. There's plenty of bourbon tonight. It was like, it was, this was, uh, it wasn't going to be a vodka stream tonight. It was definitely going to be a, uh, a bourbon stream. Oh, let me, uh, fix that right there. But, uh, of course it's been a pretty exciting day. It's been a long week and hopefully everybody's relaxed. Hopefully you got a nice little drink in your hand to, uh, Make you feel toasty as join in the stream. All right. So is that the right link? That is the right link. And here we go. All right. So uh, without further ado, guys, let me uh, hold on a sec. Sorry. I'm just trying, <laughs> trying to update things here. 
All right, let me fix that. Okay, change. Hold on. It's happening. Don't worry. You know how it is. Okay, so change that. Okay, and then we're going to change that. You got to love it. Got to love it. All right. So here we go, guys. Let's bring in our featured guest, our special guest, Mr. Zack Snyder. What is happening, sir? <laughs> Look at that. What is that? What are you drinking there? Some old, some some bourbon, some uh, old rip, uh, old pop band. Yeah, uh, it's tasty. This is the real deal. So. That's the real deal. I got the bullet. I got the bullet bourbon going on. Bullet's good. I got some bullet Bullet's in there. Good. Yeah, it's delicious. Absolutely delicious. How are you tonight, sir? Doing good. I'm doing really good. Good. Relaxing, as you can see. Yeah, yeah. relaxing. Uh, I, I, you know what? I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, Zach, but one oh, of your. No. One of your actors decided to, uh, you know, post like an image or something. I don't know if they were supposed to do that, but what is this? Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> cool, that. Man. Yeah. Ray yeah. Fitness. You know, that's that a cyborg kind of like. Yeah. You know, just looking at something, looking kind of angry. And then he got flashed there. He's trying too. to figure some stuff out. Clearly. Is that what's happening? He's got like, uh, he's using his like third eye to project a hologram so we can figure some shit out. <laughs> What's he looking at, though? I mean, is I think there? Uh, I think I, I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm gonna. I, I think it's uh, mother boxes. I think I'm pretty sure it is. I'm positive it is actually. Okay, I was about <laughs> to say. I was like, if you only think, I don't know. I was like, no, yeah, it is. It is. definitely is. 100 is. He, ah. he's, he's trying to explain to the team that uh, there's an issue that we got to figure out. Yeah, yeah. Those you damn see flash, you know, through the yeah hologram there. He looks, he looks a little concerned himself. Yeah, but, well, it's funny because I saw on, um, I saw on, uh, on Vero, someone had posted that image next to an image, I think I had posted, a black and white image I had posted of the team and the flying fox kind of in that same setup, but with no visual effects, just like, you know, he was just in his motion. In his PJs? <laughs> yeah, and it just said, like, we're, we've come a long way so yeah. far. And I was like, yeah, that is true, we yeah. have. No doubt. Well, I appreciate you uh, joining me on the stream here, man. I uh, yeah, one hundred percent appreciate it. And, and of course, guys, uh, uh, one of the main reasons like uh, Zach is here is to, of course, promote the new shirt and of course promote AFSP, which is what this is all about. Here's the new shirt right here, which is fucking beautiful, man. Fucking beautiful. And already sixteen thousand over over sixteen thousand dollars raised right now. Look at that. It's awesome. That isn't that awesome. I mean, I mean, I tell you what. You mean when you ask this fandom to like fucking you know support this shit? I mean, we step to it, especially when you have something beautiful like this. Absolutely. Yeah, it's like hopefully it's you know it's a risk reward. You know, like you get yeah. It's um you know we were talking about it today. Debbie and I were just talking about how um you know not only is this an amazing cause um uh you know but also just during COVID and like in sort of this. You know, it's a thing I haven't really talked about a little bit, but I mean, I'm sure everyone is painfully aware that, you know, in this time right now, um, it's as important as ever to kind of, you know, focus on mental health and like make sure everyone's cool and everyone's doing okay. Because, you know, it can get a little bit lonely and a little bit crazy in, in this, in this yeah, that, world. Yeah, that's what I was, uh, I even, um, I talked about that a little bit today too. It's like, you know, that's something that, uh, that doesn't get mentioned enough, spe uh, especially, I mean, obviously there's a lot of talk about cases and death rates and all that stuff, but they don't talk about, you know, what the lockdowns can actually, you know, do to somebody, you know, like the fact that people are locked down all the time and, and man, that could just drive some people crazy. And it's just like, I mean, a lot of people were tweeting out the uh, the suicide prevention number today. Just, you know, just anybody that needs to reach out. I mean, such a great, I, it's, it's so, it's really important, you know, just keep an eye yeah. on each other and try yeah. and, um, you know, try and do our best to, you know, keep, I think awareness is a big deal, right? Oh, yeah. Because even just us talking about it right now, you know, you don't know who's listening, who might, you know, go like, hey, you know what? I might need to talk to somebody. You know, this is this is this is cool. This is, I'm like, maybe I didn't know where to turn, and then suddenly this exactly. number appears, and I, it all clicks. So that that that's, that's pretty cool. 
Yeah, it's all about awareness, all about discussion. I mean, anybody out there, just send out the send out the link, send out everything. But uh, uh, also a disclaimer, um, Zach, if you uh, if you you know feel like showing anything on your phone during the stream, I'm okay with that. You know, I mean, just keep it PG thirteen. That's all. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be hard for me. You know, that's hard for me. Is it? <laughs> you know, it has, it has been. It has it? Yeah, I've noticed uh, little things um, popping up on your phone uh, as of recent and uh, and everything. And um, today, uh, obviously, uh, the big conversation that was happening was uh, you had uh, the interview with uh, Grace Randolph, second oh, yeah. one in a couple of months, um, and uh, talked about some stuff. And well, I mean, I mean, cat's out of the bag. I don't know if it was meant to come out of the bag, but yeah, working with Jared Leto's Joker. How was that? I got to ask that first. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Listen, the, I, I I feel like um, you know this the, the sort of our DC universe now the continuous DC universe, right? Which is sort of what I'm involved with. It kind of um, it has to do with uh, you know from from Man of Steel to BBS to um, Justice League, and with the you know continuing stories that kind of branch off from it. Um, and uh, I just feel like, you know, and by the way, I'm a, a huge fan of uh, the other Jokers out there. You know, I love sort of the Joker as a character. And um, I, I, I'm, I'm excited and, and always uh, interested in the other the other takes, you know what I mean? It's not a, I don't have, you know, in a lot of ways, I always say that the thing about Justice League or my Justice League is that, you know, it's a three-year-old movie, you know? Yeah. It, it's literally a three, right. like it's it's a story from three <laughs> years ago. You know, the, the in a lot of ways, the, the DC um, EU has moved on from my take on, um, on uh, you know, its characters and its stuff. I mean, I, I still think what I what I was doing was fun and that's cool. But I'm, but so so what I'm saying is that like, you know, whatever I see out there, um, the Batman movie that's coming, I'm super excited yeah. to see it. I mean, yeah. I love the trailer. I thought it was amazing. Um, you know, I love Joker. I love Todd's Joker. I thought it was cool. So you know, I'm just a, I'm a, a lot in a lot of ways I'm a fan. But so for me though, in my world if Joker was going to make an appearance, it would be the Jared Leto, Leto yeah. joke. Cause that's, that's my sort of in my. Oh yeah. I mean, that's, theory. that's what's, I mean, that's what's so great about these characters and that's how they've lasted for, you know, over 80 plus years is the fact that they just can be reinvented so many different ways. I mean, the fact, I mean, when people were craving like a new Superman, and you getting Man of Steel and kind of like showing like, a hey, I'm going to show him in this light right here as well as like and then taking that into BVS where it's like, OK, well, what if Superman were to show up in our society as of now? How would people react? And I think that's why um, people were so drawn to like Man of Steel and BVS. That's certainly why I was. And I thought. What a perfect way to do a sequel, first off, with BVS. But I mean, when it came to Man of Steel, I have to actually ask when. I guess when Christopher Nolan, um, you know, with the success of the Dark Knight trilogy and Warner Brothers was like, hey, can you do that to Superman? And he was like, nah, but I know a guy who can. Was it kind of like that? Did he kind of refer you and was like, I know a guy that could do what I did to Superman? Yeah, it was 100 um, percent. He called me up and was like, would you be interested in Superman? And, you know, just come and want to come over to the house and let's just talk about it. Yeah. And I went over there and we just, I read the script and then I went over and we just talked about what I thought Superman, he's a big Watchmen fan. So I think yeah. that the, um, it was, it was kind of that movie for him. I think that made, made him think that I could, that I could probably do, um, you know, Man of Steel. Yeah. And then after we talked, uh, you know, he just was like, okay, that'd be, if you want to do it, it'd be fun to, to, to do it. And so that's kind of how it, that's kind of how it was, how, how it got created, how it was born anyway. But, um, how it came to be. And, yeah. and 
I think what everybody loves about your version of it is, is, I mean, you really, I mean, Superman's got to be one of the hardest characters to like, you know, portray, like put on the big screen because I mean, it's fucking Superman. I mean, he could yeah. do whatever. I mean, the only thing that could stop him is a, is a green rock <laughs> essentially, you know, or a bald guy who likes to sell real estate, you know, it's like that, that, that's the guy, <laughs> you know, that's, and it, I mean, of course there's other villains in his world, but I mean, it's like, how do you, how do you deconstruct that character? And I think that's what, I mean, I remember when I watched Man of Steel and, you know, you sh the Krypton scene is just absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the, you know, Russell Crowe and uh, uh, Michael Shannon, everybody, that whole scene is is, uh, is truly like a, a masterful. But then it's like when, when you see the, the, the ship like headed towards Earth, and it's like, OK, we're going to get that that that, you know, like what we got before. We're going to see Superman grow up and blah, blah. But once it like crashed and it just went to like, oh, there's a there's a boat. And now Clark is there. What the fuck? I mean, it, it was like it was it was refreshing to me. It was very refreshing because it was like, oh, we're not going to do that stuff. And he's just going to go back to it and flash back to certain things. And I thought that was the way you guys constructed the story. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And, and I think the cool thing about it for me was like, you know, it kind of got us you know, down the road a little bit quicker, you yeah. know, we were into it. We were into like it, like a grown Superman adventure pretty quick, you know, in the movie, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't like we had to wait for him to grow up and push the bus out of the water and, you know, have people think he was Jesus or whatever, but um, <laughs> we, uh, you know what I mean? Like, and then, so then, uh, you know, he had, he didn't have to get lectured by his dad. He got to hide that son. Got to yeah. hide that son. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, and then, um, and then what, when that it came back, Kevin Costner right there, was great. I thought it was great. I mean, I was like, damn, was, am I interviewing Kevin Costner all of a sudden? Yeah, was great. Was great. I was going to start ad asking you Robin Hood questions. You gotta keep that part of your side. So yeah. your side hidden. <laughs> Dude. Oh uh, man. I tell you, you know, what's the, what scene in Man of Steel that always like chokes me up is when like, when, uh, when little Clark is like, can I just be your son? And he goes, oh, yeah. you are my son. And then he like hugs him. I just, Man, I mean, the lump just starts growing in oh, no, the throat every yeah, time. Me too. I, I, by the way, that's one of my favorite bits in the movie Fuck as yeah. well. Um, yeah, that's it's it's really a great line. And David uh, Goyer, like you know, in that that scene was, you know, on right on the page, just like that. Amazing. Yeah. So yeah, really kudos to him for cracking that. Yeah, just the way Kevin like pulls him in too, and the way he says it with like a little crack in his voice too. Yeah. So then when it came to um, doing a sequel for it. Um, from what I've heard, like you basically kind of pitched the idea, like what's, who's going to be the villain. And like, um, you were like, well, what about Batman <laughs> kind of thing? Was that how it went or? Yeah. I mean, yes, to some extent that's how it went. You know, we had, um, it was one of those things that, uh, I think we talked about in the early days, we said like, oh, maybe at the end of the movie, at the end of the second movie, Batman, like, somehow comes on the radar, or I don't know. Like, we had kind of like a, as a, as like a cliffhanger, Batman shows up, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, but once we said it out loud, you know, once he started to talk about it, I said, you know, we were kind of like, Batman's kind of the better idea. Like, it's kind of... Yeah. Whatever else we do now, we'll be like, we'll, we'll just be going, yeah we're just working to get to Batman now. Right. So it just seemed like, let's just, let's just do it. Let's just do that. Let's bring him. Let's just fucking do it. I mean, let's why not? It. I mean, we, I mean that we've never seen them both on the big screen. I mean, that, that's what was so exciting about when, when it was announced. I mean, and talk about, I mean, when it came to you and your Comic-Con announcements, those, those Hall H's that you guys had, holy shit. I mean, I wish I, I attended them, but even like just watching like little videos, the way, especially how you announced BVS with Harry Lennox reading that Dark Knight Returns line. My God, that was a thing of beauty. Like how, like how prepped was that uh, for that? Was that just like, hey, I want you to read this and he did and that was it or was it prepped like a couple of days? No, it was a couple of days. I mean, I had the idea. Yeah. Uh, and I asked Harry to do it because, you know, he's, you know, so Shakespearean. Got and his, uh, oh, yeah. you know, he's got that voice just crushing. Yeah. And so, um, you know, he just, I said, hey, would you do this? And he was like, absolutely. He's, he's, you know, he's one of those 
actors, not only who is a genius actor, but an amazing guy, you know, just a great guy. Never, he's been there from, there's never been a time when I haven't said, hey, Harry, could you help me out? And he's always just like, yeah, you tell me what to do. And yeah, it's been, seems, so that, that, that's just an amazing you know, seems like, seems relationship. Like a, you know, yeah. he's, 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 he's great. Very easy going. Okay, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a little fan question. Now I'm oh, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I what? think I didn't finish your first, um, hmm. the Jared Leto. Uh, oh, question. yeah. By all means. Well, only I just want to just say that, like you know, so it got in my head that I could do this. This I, I I really wanted. I had this idea for a scene, and I and I had an idea. I had a version of this scene that I had written maybe three years ago, mm -hmm. slightly different, but but very similar. But then, you know, for whatever reason, for a multitude of reasons, <laughs> I uh, didn't have to name them. Fine. Yeah. But <laughs> then, you know, I was talking to Debbie and we were talking about it. I said, you know, I had this, do you think it would be pop? I mean, is it, am I crazy? Should I just call him? Should I just cold call him and just say, hey? Um, and so I called him and I said, listen. Was he climbing a rock when he did? He was like, "Hey, he was, um, you know hey, where he?" he <laughs> I, I don't know where he was. He was either um, on the top of a mountain, yeah, probably, or possibly was in a submarine. I don't know where exactly he was, but <laughs> who knows any for that? Of those, yeah, any of those possibilities. He was on stage, I think, possibly on. There was a <laughs> I could hear a hundred thousand. Yeah, hundred thousand people. He's like, he said, "What do you want me to do?" Like, okay, Quiet. yeah, okay, people, shut. I and they God, all went, and they all, by the way, they Stop. were deathly quiet. They was like, oh. <laughs> and then we had to call, and then he was like, okay, we'll talk more about it. And then, oh, they went, yeah. Oh, it's crazy. yeah. No, it, it, was, it felt <laughs> like that. It did feel like that a little bit. Yeah. Um, but, but it was this kind of like, it was a cool conversation because when I pitched him the idea, he, um, I, I feel like his, he, 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 he hooked, on to the what the the why of it because there's a, there's a big why and mm -hmm. he hooked onto the why of it and was like okay and literally just he said to me he goes we'll talk more you know nice and i had a, then i kept calling him like you know we talked for over a while and then you know he he agreed to do it but it was uh it, it, and but and i will say it was a great experience working with him he's a he's a, he's a gifted actor and Oh, I'm you know, sure. Really dedicated to us. It was fun. Yeah. I mean, he goes method. And then, I mean, the fact that like you look at a picture of him like 22 years ago and he looks exactly the same. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's immortal or something like that. I don't know if he's like actually a vampire. Maybe. I don't know. But um, I was actually going to ask, was he when, when it came to like the initial Justice League principal photography, was he was he part of that? Was there any was he like incorporated with that? Or no, 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 it, no it, wasn't. It, it, it was a. It was, there was a few things that I had thought about doing that I had thought about grabbing and post. Um, there, there was a number of things I had drawn. A couple of them I still haven't, wasn't able to do, but it's fine. I, I'm completely satisfied. Um, but this was one of the things that it, in the years since I've kind of boiled on and kind of said like, this would be a cool thing to do, you know, but I'll be honest. I never thought the opportunity would come. I really, and thanks to the fans, of course, and this whole yeah. and this whole journey, you know, it's happened, which is insane. I know. We were like paying attention to like his uh, his Instagram. We're like, oh my god, he shaved! He shaved his beard! Something happened, something like that. You know, like us fans, we're all we're looking for air. <laughs> Someone said they saw um, Joe Paganello. Yes, with crazy hair. With crazy hair. Yeah. What's up? Oh, um, something. Hey, you know, it's fine. Oh. You know, hey, sometimes, sometimes Deathstroke, you know, he wants to bleach his hair and shave or his back. Joe just wanted a mohawk. I don't Maybe know. That, that that could be it. It could be for Magic Mike three guys. It That's is. What it could have been. It's cool. Yeah. It's like Magic Mike three. Yes. Directed by Magic Zack Snyder. Mike. You know, it's like uh, it's Magic Mike after you know in a post apocalyptic Magic Mike. Yes. After an invasion from like some god from another world that's apocalyptic, um, but still it, loves an all male review. 
Exactly. I mean, I, I can't wait to see that scene. I mean, Jesus Christ, that's going to be, uh, you know, I mean, Joe Magnielli, he's got some moves, but I'm going to bring in uh, Wonder Meg here. What is up, Wonder Hi. Meg? She's going to bring up a fan question. Obviously, you know, you guys have talked before. I think you guys are familiar with each other. Of course. A few of times, course. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Meg. Uh, what, no question do you, what question did you pull from the, uh, from the uh, audience out there? Okay, so I'm going to butcher this name, but Amberish uh, says, love you, Zach. Happy Diwali from India to all. I'm really excited for his, uh, Army of the Dead. Can you please tell us an exclusive bit about it? Oh, exclusive. An exclusive. exclusive. Oh, exclusive. you know what? Hey, Zach, just to let you know, I got some drops, and one of them is uh, a little superhero I made called Exclusivo. So there you go. I'm just letting you know. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I got a couple for you too. You know, I got one like you breaking a neck. <laughs> yeah. And then and then anytime that I'm like laying the facts down, I always have this one. Fucking hard fact. So that, <laughs> you know. But anyways, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um Yeah. Uh let's see, what can I tell you about Army of the Dead? Um you know, uh I could tell you that um, we talked a little bit about it today that our, um, you know, 90% of our zombies are completely practical, you know, and that the, the sort of zombie war, uh, you know, the, the action sequences and the fighting, um, you know, uh, my longtime collaborator and friend, Damon Carl, and I worked hard to um, create some like insane zombie uh zombie mayhem on an epic level you know with a little splash of vegas just to make it cool <laughs> um you know just a little like you know some pompadours or whatever uh it's uh, but you know it's it's a the thing about the movie i think that's really going to be exciting for people and it's just like the tone you know i'm obsessed with like the tone of um, you know that kind of that kind of tone where it doesn't the movie has fun. I always say this. It has fun, but it doesn't make fun, right? Which is a fine. It's a very fine line. And I, uh, I really wanted to make a no holds barred zombie genre, yes. just insanity. And I think that, um, you know, the guy, my, um, my, my cohorts over at Netflix, really, they really strapped in and uh, and and went for a ride with me and it was fun and then we really did have a great time and the movie was so much fun to make and um i think that and shay hatton who wrote the script with me is a genius and i love him and we just really really we nerded out <laughs> hardcore sure. on our genre like tropes and you will see the tropiest tropification <laughs> of tropes in the history of troping I love it. Oh, you heard it here first. All right. Well, thank you, Meg. Uh, we'll get back to you in a little bit for another fan question. Appreciate it. Um, one of the things I actually want to do, uh, like talk about because I'm a diehard Batman fan. I got my Jim Lee uh, picture right here. I got mm -hmm. a guy right there. Uh, we've actually, you know, um, I, we've talked about that a little bit. I think uh, during your little the Snyder Con thing that happened uh, in Pasadena last year. <laughs> Uh, one of the things I asked you, and obviously we got a good shot of like you laughing about it. I was like, when casting for Batman, I asked you, I'm like, did you just have like, instead of just having like everybody's like act pictures of actors on the wall, did you have like half their face covered and just, it was just straight up chins all over the place. You had to like find the good did, chin. Did, I, didn't I talk about this? Yeah. <laughs> a little, yeah. A little bit. Cause I talked about like, didn't I talk? Well, one thing that's cool is like when I did Ben's, so I had Ben, I printed Ben's face on a piece of normal paper, not even photo paper, you know? Yeah. And I took my markers to it and I put the cowl on him. And then I flipped it. Actually, it's a really cool image. When you flipped it over, it had, it had bleed it through. So it was a really cool, um, it was like a really cool Batman because it was like the negative space where the mouth was. But it was like all this, because I had done like, you know, I'd really marked it well like with the shading and everything. So That's awesome. Um, but like when you looked at it, you know, that, I mean, 
It was perfect. The guy has got a chin, you know. Jesus so, Christ. I know. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm blessed with the little dimple chin myself, but I'm jealous of that. I mean, one of these yeah, guys, got we, we all got, yeah, got the gym, dimples going on right there. I mean, it helps. It definitely helps. So uh, one, of, one of the things I'm going to have to, like, I've, I've always wanted to ask a director who uh, directed a Batman movie. I mean, uh -huh. first off, when it came to designing the suit, I mean, obviously relied heavily on uh, – the Dark Knight Returns suit, which was great. I mean, I think it's the, I think it's the best, the uh, best. I mean, I, he Affleck is the best cinematic Batman in my eyes right now. I mean, nothing against anyone else. I love all the Batmans, but I mean, there's just something about Ben's presence. He's just a fucking brick shit house of a well, dude. You know, and that you know, for me, Batman. Um, one of the things that I, I always I loved about Dark Knight Returns, and the thing that I really you know, just captured my imagination. And, and you look, you know, it's exactly as you say, the Batman, the Batman, um, <laughs> they all bring a different, everyone yes. brings a different aspect to it. And, and, and that's why it's an amazing character. You know, it's, it's, it's our, it's, it's like American Shakespeare, you know, like this, this having this, this character that like can be played over and over in different takes and different shapes. And, but, you know, with this weird similar mythology and it's, it's just really, I think it's really cool, but but for me, uh, the thing about Dark Knight Returns when I read it was, you know, just the 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 sheer like kind of size of the man, you know, yeah. and just this kind of, you know, he's grumpy. He's, he's grumpy. A, he was like he's a brawler, you know. Yeah. But he's also a surgeon, you know. Like it's that whole thing. Like you know, he 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 was he's this brute individual that also has like this technical knowledge of like, you know, he's going to murder you with like this beautiful, like knowledge of your anatomy because he's a genius, yeah. you know? So it's like this crazy, it's just this is a massively awesome combo. And I really just always loved, you know, the brawler Batman, you know, it's just like that kind of thick muscular rib cage, you know, and it's like, you know, he's not, he's just like this crazy endomorph that's just out of his mind. So it's just, it's cool. Seriously. I mean, like the first shot in BVS when he's just like, like, you know, in the corner of the wall, you know, and the cop just looks over. I mean, Jesus. I mean, talk about very like animal like the way that he just like goes and then just crawls across the fucking yeah, ceiling. I, and then I really the first time we saw Batman for him to be like scary. You yes. Know, I, thought, I, I really had this in my mind. I wanted the reveal of Batman to be the reveal the idea was that I wanted him to be seen the way us to see him, the way sort of society saw him and the way sort of law, law enforcement in general saw him. Yeah. And, you know, it was only after we had to get, you know, get back to the back cave and talk to Alfred that we understand like his tenuous relationship with what he was doing as a, as a vigilante. Yeah. You know, that, they're like, you know, he says, like, we, we're criminals, Alfred. We've always been criminals. Like That was the best line. I mean, that that was like when, when Alfred, like, puts the paper down and says new rules. I mean, that right there explained, like, everything. It was like Alfred's going, what the fuck are you doing? Essentially going, like, what are you, you're branding guys now? What the yeah. shit? Like, <laughs> have you lost it? I mean, yeah. right there, when anytime there's a discussion about, you know, what people feel about batman it's like it's right there with that first line from alfred dropping the paper is like new rules i mean he, it's just and then the way that bruce explains it of like you know we've always been criminals it's like yeah it's just a 20 year old batman it's not fucking two years three years in it's not that bad yeah and he has that whole thing about like you know 20 years in gotham oh you know, we know that it. That had to be some of the best acting from Affleck. I'm sorry that 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 scene right there, just yeah, gorgeous. The way that the 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 raw like emotion, you know, the way that that Ben like put into that, like, I mean, I remember when that clip like came out online, I was like floored. I'm like, all right, he's the best Batman right there. That was it right there. Well, that's cool. I'm glad you think that. I mean, I, I I'm slightly partial to him. Too. Yeah. I I think you're biased. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. But I have to ask because I've been always wanting to ask a director who's directed a Batman movie. Did you ever consider when the standard suit? I mean, obviously, with the mech suit, there was the white eyes. But did you ever consider it for the standard suit? Mm -hmm. You know, it, it. Part of the reason I did the mech suit was for the white eyes. Yes. Um, but 
I, and I have drawn a bunch of drawings, you know, where Batman's like looking down from like a fire escape or something, you know, and, and he's kind of hunched over that, and he's kind of dark in the front that he has the white eyes. But I really just, I just didn't know how to do it where it wouldn't be. That's, that's you know, here, 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 this is the truth. Okay. The truth is that, you know, actors do so much through the eyes and the yeah. eyes are really like, Oh yeah. Like, just ask Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy acts through his eyes like crazy. The biggest, that's their biggest tool. And yeah. I just think it, to take it away from them is, is, is you can do it momentarily, but I don't think you can do it for the whole, for the whole thing. I think that's, that would be, that'd be hard. Yeah. But okay. So now I got to ask when it comes to the black eye makeup. <laughs> oh yeah. No, no. I mean, that's, that's always Absolutely. been the thing. I love the black eye makeup and I love to talk about it. What, what, what is the, what's your, like, what, well, what's, what's funny is, what's funny what's, is, is I know, I know how, because I do a character called Casual Batman. Okay, so <laughs> basically, I like, I, you know, it's a t-shirt and me, but I do the black makeup. And when I'm done doing like a video or a live stream where I'm that character, I take off that mask. That shit is, I mean, it's a pain in the yeah. ass. I gotta, yeah, yeah, it. yeah it, it's running down my face and everything like that. But it's just like, um, what I always wonder is like how it's never really like fully addressed in the movies like i mean for instance batman returns i don't know if you remember like at the end of batman returns when bruce is gonna rip off the cow you know he's in front of selena and he's gonna rip off the cow but right right when it cuts back to him the eye makeup is gone and he pulls up the mask and it's so obvious and i'm like i kind of wonder like well, why didn't they just edit it where he like did this and then they cut and then all of a sudden he pulls off the mask yeah you know and it, and but i noticed like what i what i love about ben's batman i mean both like the, the 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 uh the nightmare scene when superman rips off the mask that's like i mean the way that ben just whips his hair back and it's all nice and just whoo i mean you put some sexy music to that <laughs> i mean it's Slow motion. I mean, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I saw an edit where somebody put like George Michael's, like I'm never gonna dance again, in that saxophone. And they put it to that. And I'm like, it works, but it's. It does, by the way, listen. I've been accused of a lot of things, but I've also, I've never, you know, I don't. It's, a, I, I, I can, you know, I can make a man sexy. I don't know. What you to, can. I don't, I don't know what to tell well, you. Well, I mean, three hundred. I mean, I mean, come on. You made 300. I did. I did it. I, I, did. Think, I think a lot of us, I mean, as much as we were like amped up by that movie, we were kind of like questioning our sexualities. We're like, yeah. oh, man, Ben, that's, that's good. Little, it's good. I mean, it's good. Gerard, Butler, good. Gerard Butler was looking pretty good in that. He does look good. He, he does. does. He's a man. What can you do? He's a very yeah, no, I, I listen, I love that. It's a funny thing that I make up is like a hilarious. It's literally a conceit of the character, right? Yeah. It's, uh, I kind of love that Patterson shot. Where his eyes were dark, and I was like, oh, "Yes, cool. they're finally they said, like." It seemed like Matt Reeves is I love because I, I, I love it because it's deconstructed. You know, like it's it literally is like this. It, it's cool. It's I, I I thought it was cool, but anyway, yeah. but yes, I do think it's a conceit of the character where you you just have to accept that when the cowl's on, you, you don't listen. I don't know. Even in the in the costume tests. We would do the cowl without the eye makeup. And it just doesn't it's, work. It's horrible. Like, yeah. Like, it, yeah. Like it you just look at it work. and you're like, what's wait, what's wrong with the this is a disaster? <laughs> and then they're like, okay. And they're like, Zach, wait one second. <laughs> what do you think? And I'm like, oh my God, you fixed it. What did you do? And they're like, oh, we put yeah. a little black eye makeup around. So I'm like, okay, well. Yeah, I'm kind of curious, like how I mean, I, I I mean that was one of the things that stood out for me with that Matt Reeves trailer was the fact that I'm like, wow, they're addressing the eye makeup, or they're actually going to cool. do that? Yeah, I know. I mean, I mean, I mean, talk about. I mean, we we talked about it when you came on the uh, the Real Motion, and we were uh, talking about the trailer for uh, the Batman for DC fandom. I mean, it was almost like, <laughs> I mean, how do you reinvent Batman again when you have like the success of uh, of uh, your of Ben's Batman, and then of course. Uh, Christopher Nolan's Batman, and, and it was like Matt Reeves was like, "Here, hold my beer, you know, or hold my scotch." He seems like he'd be a scotch drinker. In my, yeah, I don't opinion. know. I, yeah. I'll ask him. Yeah, you should oh, ask him. Like, what? What's his drink of choice? What's your beverage, but, um, bro? Tell me what your beverage is. What's your beverage choice? But uh, speaking of Batman, I actually have a, a, a fan video question for you, okay, Darren, and uh, we're gonna play it right now. The fan video. Hey, what's up, Zach? 
Uh, I just wanted to say for one, thank you for remaining a humble person and very down to earth, especially with all the negativity that has came your way in the last few years. And also the day that your version of Justice League was announced was the same day as my father's funeral. And I felt like that was a light that was just shined on one of the darkest days I had. It, it like bought me some joy out of just the hard time I was having. But my question is, I know Dark Knight Returns is your favorite Batman story, but if you had an, a chance to bring another story to the big screen, which Batman story would you like to do? Ooh. It's a good question. It is good. It's a good question. Just say your You know. <laughs> we talked about death in the family the other day. Yeah. Hmm. It's hard because here's the thing, and, and I don't, I don't have a problem. There's a million great Batman stories. Of course. The difference between, for me, Dark Knight Returns and all the other Batman stories is that the other Batman stories are exactly that, right? They are, like, I would say, they are a continuation of that mythology and sort of taking that character and put him on other, into other adventures and or, um, you know, dramas. The difference is Dark Knight Returns is that it takes the character and takes it apart 100% and like says, literally examines the why of every aspect of the character. Like, why this? Why that? Why a millionaire? Why, why a brute? Why a you know, what relationship with the police, all those things. And so that's why for me, it's like, it's the ultimate story because it, and even it brings Superman in the end, it brings Superman in to say like, what is your place in the world? Like, what is your place as a, as a human being? So, I mean, that's, but you know what? Um, so my answer is that there's a lot of great Batman stories, but I don't, I don't know what I would yeah. I need to think about it more. I've never really yeah. thought of, I gotta be honest, I've never really thought about it in, in to think about like, okay, I've always, I've stolen a lot of elements from other comic books, I'm not gonna say, but Scott Snyder's a big um, inspiration for us. Yeah, he's a good and, writer. And a lot of great, a lot of great work, like yeah. honestly. And so, yeah. Yeah, Scott Snyder, uh, I think a couple of years ago, he when, th when they did the whole like uh, DC Rebirth, comic books he did all-star batman and he had this, the first story that he did was basically just it was like a road trip <laughs> it was a road trip story with harvey dent and batman he was you know batman was taking him somewhere and all these villains were trying to get to him and it was absolutely fantastic i mean yeah. there was like this whole backstory and it was like it was basically like um like what they did with, uh, you know, with uh, Logan, like uh, Wolverine, you know, you know, the last one. It was like, it was basically like that, almost like that. Yeah. But it was Batman story and Two Face, and it really just like I was like, I was like, I want to see this like yeah, adapted. Cool. I mean, it was cool. really a good story. Scott, Scott's good. Scott's yeah, really good. Scott's really, really, really good, and uh, and everything. But uh, and, and you know, another thing too, like uh, bringing up like BBS and everything. I, I mean, I will say like uh, what you did with Wonder Woman. And I mean, I don't even want to say like it's subjective or whatever the fuck, but she has probably the best superhero entrance in a movie ever. I mean, I, I got to ask, like, how did you like <laughs> the fact that she jumps in, saves Batman's ass with the fucking music that just -na 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 -ge -ge -ge. I mean, uh, when I saw it twice, the theater just went just crazy, you know, just went crazy. And, and even thinking about it right now, I got goosebumps. Like, how did that? whole scene i mean come about well i mean i you know i drew when i drew i drew that scene and i really had this um and, and we had talked about it a lot and it was really crucial to me that um wonder woman the first thing she does is does is say batman you know like nice. first time we see her like really in action it's like because i i thought that you know she um she needs to enter at this super high level because she really is. You, we're not going to, we, we will later on examine the why of Wonder Woman, but when we meet her, she is a veteran of, uh, you know, 
multiple gig, like epic battles and that she is you know I, I fought like literally gods of war like i don't like this is not well, yeah, you, you guys put that, are amateurs. Like, yeah, you put that line amateurs. in there where she was like, was I that, fought. Yeah. Was, yeah, that line I where she was like. killed things from other worlds. Yeah. yeah, and then Superman was even like, what the fuck? Is he with you? And Batman's like, what? <laughs> that yeah. was a, that was a good little exchange right there. That yeah, was because he's like, I, she seems more like your style. Yeah, like she's your whole, type. I'm a human, whole, dude. I got a, I got a fucking, <laughs> I got a fucking from gun. the sky thing seems yeah. a lot more. <laughs> Yeah, you know, just, like she just saved my ass. I have a fucking. She has gun. some energy that comes out of her bracelets. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. Yeah, <laughs> it's so funny too because when you when the when the whole doomsday fight happens, I mean, Batman. I mean, he just has to like just be like, holy shit! <laughs> like he's just diving. Yeah, he's got to do something. <laughs> I have my like, like lamp, I have my kryptonite. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I got. You know, he's so out of he's so out of his element. That's what I love about it. I'm like 20 years of, you know, beating the fuck out of like bad guys in like alleyways and, you know, you know, other villains and stuff like that, human people. And then all of a sudden he's got these two gods fighting this beast and he's just like, how do I contribute? <laughs> I'm like, I got my gun. I'm going to just, you know, dodge shit. I mean, it's but I weird love though that he lays in the, um, the round though from the, from that little grenade launcher right at the perfect moment. Oh yeah, that's the thing. Then that's 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 perfect Batman right there. It's like, okay, you got Superman, you know, you got Wonder Woman contributing with the lasso and then Superman's going to do his thing and then Batman's like, I got this. Boom. And it was like a perfect Trinity moment. Yeah. It was like, I yeah. Agree. Yeah, it was a perfect Trinity moment. Yeah. My god. I mean, but it was cool too because when Hans cuz so we had the moment, right? Yeah. And uh, I forget what we had tempt in there. We had some music tempt in there. It was just like, you know, some kind of you know, it might have been might have been drums, but not anything like, you know. And then Hans was like, What do you think of this? And he played us that. And we were like, Oh my I can oh only my. imagine like oh hearing my. that for the first yeah. time, especially when I mean it was just so perfect with the you know, when she saves his ass and you hear the and then all of a sudden it just comes down and it that guitar riff that that him and junkie came up with yeah it was like it, it i every time i see that i have to rewind it like six or seven times because it's just so fucking good it's really fun it's I really so fucking good so good all it right good, so, like, that was good i just also like the the bat wing is like completely jacked up and it's all yes like, you know it's like there's no wings left on it it's like a mess in the fact and, that batman's like oh shit he's, yeah, he's like <laughs> yeah he's just like, what's that gonna do, dude? I mean, yeah, like, like just yeah, you, you, like, your costume can guys, maybe dodge some guys, bullets because he's yeah. like, that thing's I beams come out of its mouth. For <laughs> it's it's like, mean, what are you thinking? I mean, I guess that's just the natural reaction is just to put your hands up, but yeah, no, it, for sure. And I think that, yeah. you know, we talked about it, I was like, you know, just kind of, yeah, you're 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 gonna, you know, you ne this is it, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna like, die. It's been a pretty good running guy, you know. I've been a, I've done a lot of crazy shit, and like, you know. Yeah, yeah. This is oh, gonna well. be it. Oh, well, yeah. I'll be killed by an alien from another planet, like an alien monster. I mean, that's that what. That's the only thing mind. that. That's the only thing that could take Batman out is something from yeah. another world. He's like, right that's, there. that's how it's gonna be. So be it. Fuck it. So uh, when it came to the, uh, I wanted to ask you about the Snyder event real quick. Um, yeah. When it came to the Snyder event, that was a lot of fun. First off, I mean, we all had a great time. I mean, I, I went to the BBS screening, of course, and you know, of course, had the poster which is hung up right over there, uh, signed by all you guys, Deborah, Larry, everybody. Um, oh yeah, it's fun. Fantastic. But you had a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a sneaker in there, which I didn't see at first, and I was like, all of a sudden, I'm like we're up on the second story of the place and uh, a couple guys that you might talk to in a little bit, the comic movie marks, um, Matt, he walks up and goes, Hey, look at your poster. Something is circled. And sure uh, enough, two fourteen, uh, circle. Okay. So those were early days, by the yes, way. Yes. Those are very early days. Very I mean, days. I mean, obviously like we already knew something was there and it was so funny too, because that night I think there was people that really wanted to ask you about, your cut of the movie, but we were kind of like hesitant, you know, at the same yeah. time. But some people were like, Hey, what the fuck is what what was your movie gonna be? And you you said some really good shit in there, like the the scary idea, which a lot of people were like, Oh man. But yeah, but that little Easter egg that you had on that poster, I mean, 
that idea that was how did that come to be well i mean listen you know my did i think at the time that that this movie was ever going to see the light of day it was funny i'll um you know the movie for whatever it's been almost two and a half years existed for me just on my you know on my computer you know just yeah. in black and white on my computer and you know i just was always like oh you know every now and then someone would come over to the house and i go down to the theater and we i and if they wanted to see the movie i'd be like oh yeah you want to see my version of you know the, yeah. the, my version of justice league and they'd be like yeah check it out and you know it was always you know everyone would be like holy shit that's insane um but the my but i never thought I, I honestly didn't think that it would ever see the light of day. You know, I always thought it yeah. would be, you know, just a, just kind of this, you know, anomaly that, that yeah. would always just kind of exist as it does. And so, but I did enjoy that, like, there were people out there that had a hankering or an interest. A hankering is cool because that's what a hillbilly would say yeah, exactly uh, yeah <laughs> hanker and I got a hanker and not there. exactly yeah. <laughs> uh, the CD, um, yeah. and a lot of hillbillies do love the movie they're gonna love it so oh, that's oh, not that's a, I, that's, I, a, I, a that's a demographic i really go after it a lot <laughs> um but um <laughs> they get those hillbillies I, like, I i wanted i i was like okay well you know i want to give them information about it but i you know at the time i wasn't sure um, how much I could talk about it. Like, I was like, I don't know when someone's going to tell me to stop, you know? Like, I, That's you know. what I was always wondering too. When you were posting stuff, I'm like, is he allowed to fucking do this? And then when this shirt came out, I'm like, he's got like all the fucking logos on it. I'm like, what's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I, I just, I, I finally got to this point where I was just like, well, you know, someone's going to call me and tell me to stop at some point, you know, yeah. but, but no one ever did. So, um, that's a good thing, I think, because it really, in a lot of ways, I was emboldened by, I don't know if you're familiar with that word, but I was, um, <laughs> and I was, uh, just felt like, yeah. And, and not, not to mention like that, you know, I had, I had all the, no one had really knew what was in that. I mean, the studio had seen the director's cut, but even the director's cut of the movie was shorter than my cut. Yeah. That I shared, like, Yes, this is my cut of the movie, but there was a cut that I created that I said, this can, like, no one, this is too much for the studio. Like, you know, the mandate was make the movie two hours long. I cannot, show them, a, I cannot show them a four hour. I know. Movie. The, <laughs> the fact no, that you, like, like, told you to do that, I'm like. like someone is going to lose their, if I show them a four hour version of the movie, they will, like, literally. Lose I, I did have this idea that, like, oh, maybe we could just split it in half and make it in two two hour movies yes and they could like have my first idea was like you show two hours and then there's like maybe a month and then the next two hours come out that was my one of my ideas that's pretty cool and, and then the fact that it's going to come out like a you know four parts I, I i love that i mean when i heard that idea i was like perfect that's absolutely perfect for you know for you well, because the you thing about the movie is i you know the thing about the movie i think that's interesting is that the way I, the way I constructed the cut was, it's six chapters, right? So it was always this chaptered um, concept, you know, like where, you know, you, the first section, it says part one, and then you have this little section, and then part two, and you have this other section, and then part three, and part, all the way six parts, and then an epilogue. So, um, you know, there's a, the the structure of the movie always sort of would have lent, lent itself to this kind of what I would say is a sort of, you know, but I think I can't wait for you to see it in IMAX. Cause oh, I yeah. think it's going to play. Oh. It plays as this, you know, with the big intermission, you get to play, it will play hopefully in this grand, my, my really, my ideal version of the movie is the black and white IMAX version of the movie. Oh, like my that God. to me, that to me is the like most fan centric, most you know pure, most Justice League experience because it's 
it's the entire like i don't know because that's like just that's how i like i said that's how i lived with the movie for two years in black and white and yeah. so just like i i mean i love the color version of the movie and i yeah and that's there's what something about see. black and white there's something but about you're gonna black. get yeah well i will say that when we when i um do the live stream of the trailer Ooh. steph and i steph and i colored a black and white version of the trailer Right. Nice. Uh, and so the first version I'm going to put out and probably what we're going to talk about on Tuesday will be the black and white version of the trailer. I That's love wrong. it. And then, and then, and then, and then just to avoid the whole hallelujah song thing. You, you put back in black by ACDC, right? Oh, that's cool. That's <laughs> yeah. Great. Stand in it. You know, can you remember slightly? <laughs> no, um, it's all good now. Yeah, it's all, all good. Yeah. yeah, I know that was. I, I remember like we uh, we briefly talked about it too. How everybody kind of like freaked out and we're like, "Oh, I'm canceling my HBO Max! What the fuck? They took it down!" It was, yeah, like, it was like, "Guys, guys, 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 don't do that! No, not yet. No, we're good. We're good. We're good." Trailer's coming back on Tuesday, and uh, you know it's going to be something pretty special. But uh, let's check in with Amanda and see where we're at with the tally. Hey, you're muted. Hold on, you're muted. Of course, you're muted. Though. Unmute you. There you go. Hi, Zach. <laughs> I'm not here unless I'm making a slight hot mess of things. Um, thank you guys so much, everyone who's watching, everyone who's in the chat. You guys are amazing. I'm seeing like so much just joy and happiness. And um, you guys are doing amazing things. Right now, let me refresh just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, we have two ways to donate tonight directly to AFSP through the Tiltify platform. The link is below. You can also find it on Twitter, and I'm periodically putting it in the chat. We've raised $380 directly oh, to AFSP already. Um, that's to them. They don't have to wait for it at all. We have um, also the Super Chat which will get to AFFP right before Christmas. Um, so Merry Christmas for, for you guys. And we've raised another $443-ish. I'm doing some currency nice. transactions, which is amazing, which brings our total to $823 raised so far for AFFP. Nice, nice. Amazing. Nice. Thank you guys I, so much. If we make it to $1,000, which oh, I oh. You make it to $1,000 what? If we make it to $1,000, I feel like I just have to do this with you like only 40 more times. Yeah. 40, 40 yes. 50 more times. 40 is a good number. Yeah. And we, I, like yeah. I think we, we'd be, we'd have hit half a million. So there it is. like a pretty. I think I think we're on a roll here. We're on we a roll here. We have to do that before Tuesday. <laughs> so we can do it before Tuesday. We do that now. <laughs> every day. We're gonna um, Truman <laughs> show it. Awesome. Yeah, we're just gonna That's Truman awesome. show it. Stay with me. We're gonna Truman show it. <laughs> like in the shower. Every There's day, every day, we're just gonna live stream. I just know? need like one of those, like like the belt, you know, with the cell. Yes. It just that way I can. We'll get you a GoPro. We'll get you a yeah. GoPro that hangs off your head. <laughs> yeah. You know, it'll I be can't. perfect. Yeah, you know, I do need I I need to like eat and things so out. Yeah, see, yeah, you know, it's gonna happen, guys. You know, Zach and I just became best friends. We're gonna be live streaming all the time now. I'm just saying. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, all right. Thank you, Amanda. Appreciate you, that, and uh, we'll you. talk to you. Yes, she's awesome. And uh, but yeah, so when it came to Justice League, like when we saw the theatrical cut, Zach, I mean, I think pretty much the collective reaction was this. <laughs> did you see that yes <laughs> yes that was uh that was kind of the collective reaction when it came to the actual version so that's why we're so jonesing for your version and the fact that we're gonna get it in four parts we're gonna get four hours i guess four hours plus and uh possibly you know hopefully even more because we know that you kind of had this idea to like you know you're taking superman and just kind of like you were kind of running with it you know you were trying not to do what they were doing over here on the other side of like hey we're having a bunch of movies that all intermingle with each other it seemed like you were trying to just be like well i have this story that i'm gonna do you know yeah yeah no that's kind of what i i mean 
we were kind of really thought about it in sort of the we always said like it's Lord of the Rings, you know, it's it's um that's what that's what you know our sort of mythological template was. Yeah. You know? And so, you know, it had a it definitely had a it had a a goal, yeah, in, you know, that we wanted to reach. Well, I mean, that that one T-shirt, the first I think it was the first shirt that you had that had all like everybody was trying to decipher what was going on. And it was like, well, this was probably the whole plan altogether. Yeah. You know, it's that the whole was, plan. it is the, yeah. that shirt is the whole plan. I, I still haven't really like deciphered it for everyone yet, but I will. <laughs> At some point, I'll kind of take you through it. But uh, I sweet. I smell another live stream. There it is. <laughs> there it is. You heard it here first, folks. Yeah, um, well, we got another uh, fan video question or for you uh, from yeah. Will Morris, and uh, I'm going to play it right now. What's up, Dave, and what's up, Zach? Before we get to my question, I just want to say to you, Zach, uh, your films have been such an inspiration to me. I had an interview this past week again in the film school here at college, and they asked me whose films I like the most, what style of film would I like to make, and uh, who would I want to work with. And for all my answers it was you and your films they've been so inspiring and i'm and i got accepted right off the bat as soon as i left the interview i got the email that i was accepted which usually doesn't happen and uh i just can't thank you enough for uh your films because they have inspired me to go make films of my own hopefully i can make them half as good as yours but my question is i'm a big robin fan so when your plans for justice league or batman v superman or in future justice league possible projects are there any plans to show you like a carrie kelly robin or a robin from batman's past with ben affleck just a thought all right thank you <laughs> Ooh, got a robin big, question big robin fan big football fan too apparently yeah um, yeah all that a lot of a lot of washington football team yeah, yeah, as, that's as what they're called for now, right? Correct, right? Correct. Uh, yeah. correct, correct. Yeah, um, he doesn't have the politically correct stuff on, but it's okay. By the way, I mean, you know, I think that's, I think that's good stuff. I think they've yeah. done the right thing there in Washington. Yeah, it was, um, it was about. That. Yeah, it's, it, they had to do. It. I mean, come on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, so um, <laughs> honestly, um, but um, yeah, no, I. Um, there are some, there's a Robin, there's a Robin line, like there's a, there's a Robin Easter egg in Justice League um, that I think you'll have to wait and see. I can't say exactly. Would there be a plan to have more Robin in future, uh, in, in whatever future story there would be? I mean, to me, the way you do a Robin story in the Justice League universe is Batman um, is like drinking and he is remembering. Oh, I'm drinking, you know, I'm drinking. So, so Batman drinks like it, you know. Um, but like, you know, and we see what happened. You know, we understand like who Robin was to him and we get to experience what, what, you know, what was the circumstances for the Joker and, 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 and Robin coming together? Well, apparently, I mean, some of the recent stuff, like, uh, I mean, and even looking at the costume that he has displayed, I mean, it sounds like the Joker not only just decided to beat him up, but he maybe set him on fire. <laughs> Possibly. You know, he's not a nice person. No, so he's not. Like that's like, yeah. Uh... <laughs> He's kind of Possibly. a dick. But I think that that, I mean, that's my only way. That's, I guess, my, the way I would think about it is that, like, if we were to see Robin in this movie, we'd see, like, a really able Robin. We'd see a really, like, probably, probably the way you do, I think, Robin is you do a better Batman in some yeah. way, right? You do, like, the less broken Batman as Robin. And because of his naivete, he he gets he it costs him right yeah. his kindness his his trust in humanity costs him in the end you know yeah which darkens batman more even yeah and i think like too like and and i don't know if that's just in uh in uh zack snyder's justice league which i hopefully you got that title um i think like uh you know batman trying to build this family essentially with the justice league. I mean, he's tried to do that before 
you know, obviously with, you know, I guess you could say the bat family. Um, but you know, I mean, obviously you could see some probably like, he's probably got some trust issues, some like insecurities about it. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah. And I, and I think like, you know, I mean, some people are speculating, you know, the fact that you brought the Joker in, obviously if he's going to be part of either that nightmare timeline or whether it was like the regular timeline, I mean, he's going to have a little bit of uh, you know, PTSD a little bit when he sees that guy, because look what he fucking did to his little buddy. I mean, and it's not the Jason Todd one. We, you clarified that it was the Dick Grayson version in your, ver in, uh, in your version of, uh, yeah. Of this, uh, you know, story. Dick Grayson to me is much more, um, oh, more that would, personal. You know, oh yeah, that would hit Bruce way more. Yeah, way harder. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's kind of what it was all that was all about to me. To me, yeah. You know, I was like one of the things. You know, I always say is that like you know the thing I the thing I think that like a lot of fans need to think about in regard to how different directors approach Batman and or you know these sort of extended universes. You know, you have to think about it like it's just a run. You know, yeah, it's just a run. Like a comic book, like a graphic it's a novel. Comic book run. Yeah. Like if I, yeah. if I had done a run of the same story, um, of Man of Steel, BBS, and Justice League, yeah, it would be way less controversial. You know what I mean? <laughs> then, <laughs> yeah. because you'd just be like, oh, this this comic book writer took this took this this wanted to take this take, and when the run ends, someone else will pick it up and do something else. You know exactly. So it's just. It is what it is. It's your version. I mean, yeah. uh, I mean, that's what we talk about when it, when it talks about like reinventing, you know, the character. I mean, you weren't trying to like, I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with what Marvel was doing, what, what, what they're doing, you know, they're fun movies, you know, you know, they're, they're popcorn movies, whatever the hell, you know, they, they, and they're all connected. I always said like, right. when it comes to like the, uh, the Marvel cinematic universe, it's like, they have like one long branch and then they have like, you know, these little leaves that are like the little each individual movie, but they all essentially have one set story, which was cool. It worked yeah. out and they had that infinity saga. Cool. But what you were trying to do was trying to just do your own little contained story. You weren't trying to go crazy with like, hey, we got to expand this. Sure. You had like, you know, you had uh, Ryan Choi in there. It's like, oh, cool. There's the Adam. He's in yeah. there. And, you know, you had all these little, you know, little Easter eggs. Well, because of, frankly, when Dark Side attacks. Yeah. When Dark Side is coming. Um, you needed to plant enough seed. You need, there needs to be enough, you know, characters on the edge that can fight because yeah. you, you need to really like, you know, the, the defenders of Earth need to come together and more even than the Justice League, not just the Justice League, but kind of like the defenders of Earth. And when I say that, I mean like, you know, but there'd be all the Atlanteans, all the Themyscirans, the yeah. armies of men, everybody, because the, the the lanterns, everybody, because that's a real war, you know. Oh, you just said lanterns, guys. I'm not going to ask you who your Green Lantern is. It's fine. I mean, we'll find out. I think, hopefully, maybe in the future. <laughs> I mean, there's always speculation out there, but uh, you know, I, I think I even sent a message to you too. If like, if you need a Green Lantern, I'm available. Oh, but, that's uh, you. Yeah, it is me. See, you got you guys heard it here first, folks. I mean, I'm gonna throw this guy up here. Exclusivo. Zack Snyder said I'm uh the Green Lantern in the Snyderverse. But uh, we're gonna bring Wonder Meg back in here. Do you have another uh quick question here from the live chat? I do. This comes from David Robertson. Has there ever been talk of a Man of Steel director's cut? Um, you know. Uh, no, there, ha you know, there's only a few scenes. That was like one of those movies that, um, for me, few and far between maybe Guardians of Gaul and, and, uh, Man of Steel are the two, are like, you know, two movies that I made that were pretty much, um, and I would actually, and actually Army, um, where, you know, it was just, it was exactly what I wanted to do. It just worked out that those were the, that was the length of the movie, and it was, it's not a short movie either, Man of Steel, by the way. No, um, but it, not uh, at all. <laughs> Good. You know, but it just, flows. It flows. It, yes. It, it, there was only a few scenes that we deleted, but it wasn't, it wasn't mm -hmm. anything I think that would change the, the movie. So, no. So, the, the, the real answer is no. Um, that movie is pretty much, it is what it is, and I love it. And 
it's kind of exactly um, the size that it, it was for me uh, mm -hmm. that I wanted it to be. Cool. All right. Thank you. Cool. Thank you, Meg. And uh, we'll see you again in a little bit. Okay. You. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to start, I'm going to bring in somebody um, who, uh, who's been on the vodka stream a couple of, a couple of times. He is the um, writer of the cut, which is uh, loosely based off of uh, release the Snyder cut. And uh, he's the founder of release the Snyder punch. He's a big fan of, of uh, sucker punch. So oh, Mr. Cool. in the mid side, look at that shirt. What's going on, sir? Oh, nice. <laughs> hey, thanks for having me on, Dave. Appreciate it. No problem. You, Zach. Hey, brother. What's going oh, on, man? You have anything to say, Dave, or is it just to me? I know. Yeah, you. Yeah, you, the floor is yours. And then, of oh, course, yeah. uh, we're yeah. all going to bring on Mr. Chris Wong Swenson too. Here is which, it, Chris? Uh, yeah. Hey, Chris. Familiar with. So, uh, go ahead, guys. What's well, also, that's the first thing I want to talk about is uh, the whole director's cut of Sucker Punch, right? Because we still haven't seen that. So. What's it going to take for that to happen? What do we have to do to make that happen? I think that the, um, I have to double check this, but we did think, I did talk to, uh, we did talk about it the other day. And the, um, there is a, uh, I think, I think what it has to do with, it, and I think it's almost up, but I, I'll, I'll double check for you. I'll double check. <laughs> what I think it is, is that there's a, because they sell the rights you know, to different TV shows, different TV stations and, and, and platforms to just to show the movie. And I think that there's a conflict if we generate another version of the movie while that version of the movie is has been sold, that there creates a conflict because it's like, oh, we don't have that material now because you, I, I don't, I'm not 100% sure how it works, but there is something. But there's like an amount of time that they have access to that before. And that it's at some point that time ends, and then it's like it would be it would be a viable thing for us now to take it back and and fix it. So time, basically, a matter of time. Okay. <laughs> so I will look into that and find out when that is. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say, just based on what you said earlier, was uh, when you were talking about the why of Dark Knight Returns, and that's why you like that graphic novel so much. That is what I love about your movies. What you bring that I think is missing from a lot of movies nowadays is the why to movies. I mean, Man of Steel in specific, I'm not a comic book guy, right? Like, I'm a Snyder fan. Like, I saw 300 and I was blown away, and I've been a fan of you ever since. And then you brought me into the comic book world exactly because of the why of Superman. Whenever I saw Superman growing up, it never made sense to me because I never knew why he did the things he did. But you even explained right down to the costume. I was like, okay, now I get why this dude wears the costume. And so that's what I've always appreciated about about your art. So that really stood out to me. Oh, that's cool. I appreciate that. I mean, yeah. you know, for us, it was a deep dive that we wanted to take into kind of trying to figure out how to make all the sort of the mythological symbolism of Superman make sense within the context of our world. And, yeah. and then like, you know, to be able to find his sort of mythological image and make that make, sorry that's my my door open uh, oh, yeah. find his sort of mythological <laughs> elevator menswear and yeah. make that like tangible on earth and real you know that was a thing that we we we, sh we really endeavored to kind of make you one of the things i always said about man of steel is that i, I wanted to make sure that the movie was kind of reflected this notion that if Superman was real, like what would the reaction of the world be to him? You know, not not what would he do in the world, but what would the world do to him? Because it's a different, it's an interesting parallel. It's not just like, oh look, there's there's a miracle man, like everything's going to continue. The reality is, if Superman showed up tomorrow, it would change the world. You know, so you got to kind of put it in that context so For yeah sure. you said that with um before bbs where you said that uh if he saved a cat from a tree nowadays people would even have a problem with that and i think oh, that's yeah. one of the best things you said because that nails it exactly yeah like there'd be some issue yeah, yeah <laughs> the cat wanted to be there <laughs> what are you talking about? Our society is so perfect. We, you know, geez, look at the election. My God. Yeah, that's true. You nailed it. Well, and when we're talking about all this stuff, 
I'm going to ask, I guess it's kind of controversial because it deals with all of this stuff. What's uh-huh. the deal with, well, it's not, it's not that. What's the, with the, what's the deal with the Fountainhead? Is it, I've heard it's going to be a series, yes. it's going to be a movie. Is it going to happen at all? Uh, what, the the honest thing? answer is I don't know. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I, I, that is literally the honest answer. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> you, know, I'm, you know I'm a fan. I've written a freaking 700-page <laughs> like miniseries. Uh, so I, I did spend a little time. It wasn't a thing that happened overnight. So yeah, it'd be great. You know, I don't feel like uh, you can have Trump and Fountainhead in the same um, political sphere, but maybe, you know, in the future, things will change and and the sort of attitudes will change and people won't be so like um, on edge uh, Hmm. about about ideas and uh, we can, you know, we'll see. But right (laughs) now, I don't know. Well, can I ask you about the 700 pages? Can I ask you, um, besides obviously the opening with Rourke standing on the cliff naked and laughing and everything, what do you think are the most iconic images that you wanted to bring to the screen for Fountainhead? Well, it's, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's every page. I mean, I think that like, you know, for me, um, there's just, uh, the struggle is so, is so fun to kind of uh, uh, to kind of dig into. You know, I think people tend to um, they tend to um, you you need to keep that in a mythological sort of realm in order to like let it be mythological. You know, as soon as you try to sort of think about it in practical terms, sure it, it you you can you you can spin yourself out with it. But I think if you keep it in mythological terms, it's it's really fun and there's a lot of great lessons. So, yeah, but it's a good thing. There it is. Uh, What's that? I, I, oh. whoa, whoa, hold on. First, I wanted to show, like, uh, you know, there's uh, the cover of uh, Justin's oh, yeah. book right here that's supposed to be out on Tuesday. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and, uh, yeah, check out uh, Justin's oh, book. Yeah. Do you want me to plug it? I appreciate you doing that for me. I'm, I'm I'm honored that you would do this for me. So I wrote the cut. It's a fictionalization. It's a based on a true story. Uh, it's not intended to represent what actually happened, but like you said, taking the practical and putting it in the mythological. Because I'm very much that way too. I love uh, romanticism. That's very yeah. much the way I am. So what I did was, you know, my knowledge as a fan, I took all of that and I said, well, what does this story mean when a movie? ripped away from its creator and given to a bunch of other people and taken out of the hands of the person who wants to make it. And so I took inspired by, very inspired by what actually happened. And I dramatized as much as possible because obviously I don't know what actually happened, right? I only know the rumors and innuendos. And I wrote a novel on it and it comes out on Tuesday, November 17th. That was suggested oh, nice. to the other Snyder Cut people as a celebration. Nice. Great idea. And 25% of all of my proceeds, everything I make from it is going to go to AFSP. There That's it me. is. Good yes. job. And go ahead and uh, flex flex that bicep there, Justin. Oh, oh, my oh, my oh, that. Oh, no. so great. <laughs> Don't worry. Awesome. awesome. Good. Justin, there it is. Awesome, man. There it is. All right, Mr. Chris Wong Swenson, what do you got? All right, I may have uh, a bunch of DC questions for later, <laughs> later on, so I'm just going to ask this non-DC question, uh, what other genres did you ever want to explore? Is there like a certain genre that you haven't done yet that you want to try out? Um, well, let's see, other genres. You mean like a romantic comedy? What? Oh, yeah, no. Zack Snyder rom-com, let's go. No. <laughs> I want to see a Western. I want to see a Western. A Western, I think I would, do, I think I would, I would love to make a Western. Western? I, would, yeah. I would make a Western, absolutely. Oh, awesome. Uh, I, love second Blood Mar- I love Blood Meridian. Oh. Anyone oh. give me the rights to Blood Meridian, I'll make that tomorrow. There, uh-huh. oh. there you go. You heard it here first, guys. <laughs> and and the second question is, if you were ever approached to do Star Wars, because you're a big Star Wars fan, Star it looks Wars. like it. I think you are a Star Wars fan, because <laughs> I've seen pictures of Pretty it. Bad. But um, is there a certain story that you had in mind in your head, kind of like, I wanted to do that in the Star Wars world? I mean, you know, I don't know. I think I've... 
kind of probably gone over this a little bit in, in the past. Um, I am a huge Star Wars fan. I, the reason why I started making movies when I was 11 years old was because of Star Wars. Um, and um, for sure, it has been a huge influence on me and really got me sort of into like on this mythic path with, um, with the Joseph Campbellian, um, you know, take on, uh, on archetypes and storytelling. But um, yeah, I mean, Star Wars is that to me. So I have interest in Star Wars. I, I don't have a, I don't think I have a story right now that, you know, I don't, I don't know how I, how I fit into the Star Wars universe anymore. Like it, it I don't know what it is. So mm. it's a, uh, it's a, um, it's a thing I love, but I don't know if I'm, you know, it's maybe it's moved on to me. Yeah. Right. Right. But, I still love it, and I, uh, you know, I have lightsabers everywhere around the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, to me, I mean, if, if George Miller would relinquish some uh, rights to Mad Max, I I, I want to see a Zack Snyder Mad Max movie. That's yeah. Be oh, afraid. Be afraid. Oh my God! I mean, that George the Fury Miller Road. I don't know how he did that. He is, that shit is too good. <laughs> yeah. The man is like seventy plus years old, and he was like, "Eh, I got this." Fuck yeah. It. Hey, Jesus Christ! I mean, Fury Road is too good. It's insane. Too good. It's not insane. It's awesome. But anyway, and, all right. So, uh, guys, that got you good. Good, thank you. Very good. All right. you. Appreciate it, guys. It's nine thirty. Right. Yeah, it's nine thirty. I got to get some babies to bed in a minute, so just give me. Uh, oh, just, uh, okay. So you got to go in a little bit. All right. Well, let me just. Or two. I'll do some. Okay. All right. Let me just bring on uh, Mr. Stephen Colbert because he wanted to ask you a question. Hey, how's yeah. it going, Zach? Yeah. Oh, can you hear my audio? Yeah, you're good. Oh, oh cool. <laughs> um, I have. Uh, there he is. There he is. Yeah. You know, you know, Steve. Yeah. Look at that. I know. It's it's majestic. It's majestic. What a Jesus! He's a yeti. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got uh, um a lot of questions actually, but I'll, I'll try to keep it focused. Um, I, I do a, uh, a podcast with Andrew Dice right uh, there, right here. Yeah. Um, where That's we've been, guy. we spent the last couple of years he's breaking in a down. Soundproof room. Look yeah. Professional. He's got the more, he's got the more sound appropriate room between he's the two of us. Acoustic tiling is decoration. So it's pretty <laughs> Yeah. Um, and we've spent the last, uh, what has it been now? Uh, almost two years. Six hours, I think total. <laughs> yeah, 26 hours total, um, breaking down Batman v Superman, uh, one minute per episode of the oh, yeah. show. I, I'm um, aware of it. <laughs> oh, awesome. And uh, it's it's been fascinating kind of going through it because when it went, it started with like, how are we going to fill this time? And then it became like, okay, how are we going to stop each episode from being an hour long? <laughs> um, and we started noticing things where the longer into it we get, we notice that like the frequency with which a minute ends on like, the from the one second mark to the 59 second mark is like its own story and not just like a one minute chunk but actually like from zero to 59 seconds is is a complete thought um like in nairobi the 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 whole assault on nairobi happens from from zero to 59 seconds um the batman one i mean a bunch of stuff in between but like the the one shot nightmare fight is is the same deal um, and it's very, very frequent when that, like the entire nightmare is a perfect five minute, one minute at a time chunk. So the, the podcast has been kind of mind blowing how perfect the format is. And so like that was intentional, right? I guess that's our question. <laughs> like, did you, you know, did that? I... See, those are, this is mine. That was mine. Oh. Um, yeah. So I guess, you know, um, I, the dog just came, I, um, <laughs> I, you know, I come from, you know, a very sort of, um, I do have a sort of a meticulous approach um, to it, uh, to, to storytelling and, and filmmaking in general. And um, it is a, and maybe it has a lot to do with the way I draw and the way I sort of um, uh, compose um, these chunks and, and that in order to make sense of the blocking and uh, the larger story, 
I do have to um, kind of, I always say, um, one of the things I always talk about is even sequence to sequence, it, and, and it goes to what you guys are saying, even in the smallest bits, I'm always like, what's the beginning, middle, and end? What's the beginning, middle, and end? What is the story of this moment? And so I think that that um, does make its way down to the moment to moment of every, of basically every movie I've made. Like I really, um, I really do try to, I think when you see Army of the Dead, which is the movie I just made, um, it is a movie where I, it's an extreme version, even of BVS, um, in the sense that we really, I really pushed that notion even harder. Um, and uh, anyway, well, you'll, you'll see it. So we're not yes. crazy. Hey, the, the, the this is not some like crazy conspiracy theory. What's that? <laughs> so we're not crazy in, 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 I, I in thinking think, that this is. I don't think you're crazy. All right. <laughs> it, it, it's a, but it's also a rhythm of the way it, it, it tends to, it becomes a rhythm of the way that I sort of work. You know, there might be moments where, um, you know, not totally by, there's nothing in the movie that's not very, the, the movies are very designed, right? Like the move, the design, the shot making, the moment to moment is very designed. So you can't, you can't do that level of design without, when you're breaking down the moments, moment to moment, you inevitably end up, you have, once you parcel it out, you end up with parcels, right? And so, and it is, it, it becomes like they, they turn into bricks and you start building the movie like that, you know? And I, I think that um, that's just is, the way is I Is that it. for you? Like, is that, is that the process that you would have yeah, to for me. work I, in or I, is that? Know, I, I don't expect anyone, you guys are probably very rare, um, you know, in, in that, you know, that, that, well. that you've taken it down to that to that aspect but for me that's how i make sense of the movie so that's how i'm able yeah. to put it together you know well, it feels like the da vinci code for us <laughs> <laughs> it does yeah so andrew do you have a question well yeah i'm i'm mainly kind of along that that same line but um no, you know what? I, I'll ask a different question here because uh, it's it's the one that's come up a lot when Stephen and I are discussing is that we end up having heated conversations even as fans about the movie. And it seems to be uh, about, it's, it's fitting that this is the cause that we're talking about here because it is about people having breakdowns or people failing or people falling short of what they're trying to do. And with Batman, it seems like he's failing to be better than he is. And with Superman, he's trying really hard to stay down and stay in touch with people rather than ascending. Uh, and watching both of that seems to make a lot of fans of those characters uneasy. Like a lot of people don't like seeing Batman failing or Superman failing, but isn't the whole point that when you break, you're out of character? Yeah, I guess that's, you know, for me, that's the whole, the why of the whole thing is to challenge the sort of archetype that has been established for the character, you know, to challenge the notions that they, if this is a thing, it, it, I always said that like, you know, if this is, the, if this is a construct of the character that is unbreakable, you know, why does that exist? And so when you put to that character, a scenario where that notion is challenged and also, if you put to the character a notion, the notion where that scenario is challenged in a way that you can't simply like create a trope to get out of it. Right. You know, it's not Kobayashi Maru is is not, you know, is kind of what I don't I don't mean to dork out do Star <laughs> Trek dork out, but you know what I'm saying. It's <laughs> like that's that's a particular, you know, that's a way to save Kirk right from from death. But like you can't. So, so with Superman or Batman, you want to create a scenario where they can't, they they can't rely on their mythological trope that saves them from that, because that's how you get to the reality of the why of the character. Because then they have to actually 
confront that aspect of them, you know, and, and that's what it's all about. Cool. Well, you have two people who, who really appreciated that. So thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> we, uh, if there's I a specific, I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Oh, totally. It, it totally does. Totally. Does. Way more concise than we've been doing too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know what happens a lot in the movie. Um, as I as I mentioned, you said that's like the way you structured it, um, and we don't have time to to do it all right now. But if there is a particular minute that you think um, is uh, maybe worth examining as a, as an independent minute of the movie, we'd love to, to have you on oh, yeah, no, and talk I'd about love it. Yeah, to do that. That'd be super fun. That'd be I would, great. Uh, awesome. Uh, I could pick the minute and we could, we could do it. That'd be super yeah. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were gonna angle minute three of the credits, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Snyder, do you have time for just well, one more? Like, I group? think I got to go. I really oh, you got to go. All right. Okay. Okay. Are like, they're, they're, okay. Got, I got to put them down. Well, thanks for fitting us in. Thank you. Right, yeah. well, Thank you well, before, before, so before you go, that. before you go, let's get a tally of where the donations yeah, are at from Miss uh, Ms. Colbert right there. Hi. Stephen's wife. Hi. Thanks so good. much for joining us tonight, Zach. Of I really course, appreciate it. Fine. I know your bell rang, so you got to go eat your pineapple pizza. I do. But before and you we're go, gonna, we're going to invite Scott and Tim in here just to say hi. You guys were yes. backstage. Hey. So say hi to hey Snyder. Guys. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But we'll get Italians. You know, sorry you couldn't get the questions, you guys. But, you know, he, he's got some kids to put to bed, you know. But, anyways, That's what's true. the tally there, Miss Amanda? Our total between Super Chat and direct donations to AFSP through the link for the evening is $1,293. Nice. Thank you guys so much. Cheers. Thank you guys. That's Cheers. what we're doing. Cheers. All Cheers. right, 40 more of these and we're in. That's right. <laughs> our favorite number. It's our favorite number right there. 40 more. There you go. That's great. All right. Oh, you guys are amazing. I'll talk to you again soon. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll do the minute. We'll do the minute. Yes. Do, awesome. Like, pick, pick a minute, your favorite minute. Show up with those guys and uh, make it happen. All right. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, Snyder, <laughs> thank thank you so much for joining. I mean, this, My was, pleasure. this was a lot of fun. And uh, hopefully we can do it again sometime. And uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, have a good rest of the night. And everything. All right. Will so, do. Cheers again. All right. Thanks, guys. Take it easy. Thank you. Thank right. you. Have a good one. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oop. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I tried. I tried, guys. I tried. <laughs> I tried. I'm sorry, Scott. Sorry, Tim. Man. And Angry course, drink at him. Hey, we'll bring, we'll bring in, we'll bring in uh, Swenson. We'll bring in uh, Justin. We'll bring in. Uh, Tim and Scott got Emmericked. Uh, oh, sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was. You know what? I tried. I tried. I was like, you know, but we were like talking and yeah. stuff. You know what happens, you know? But hey, but hey, Andrew, nice to meet you. First time on the vlog. <laughs> Andrew, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can see you. Whoa, 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 whoa. 13, 13. 13, 13. Friday the 13th. What's up? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so basically everybody out there who's watching, I mean, the, the whole idea was to try to like, you know, try. We were. I was trying to get everybody in so there, good. you know, I was gonna get uh, Everett and Garza in here as well as well as the comic movie marks. Oh, Garza's gonna let you hear about that. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I can't wait. I cannot wait for that. Um, but you know, I mean, like, let's face facts. It was I. I had things planned, but it, you know, when you're talking to Zack Snyder, it's like, yeah. I mean, I had I had two like almost two pages, two fucking pages of shit that I wanted to say that I only covered about well, a third, a third. Of it. We're sitting in the waiting room. Uh, or not the way waiting, what, like watching the the video, and I was watching the clock, and I was watching the drinks, and I was oh, like, which yeah. one is gonna, which one's oh, gonna yeah. catch up first? Oh, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, he was buzzing, so am I. Jesus Christ, oof, what's up? Amanda? I'm willing, yeah. I'm willing to go stand behind Steven if you want to pick which one you like better, Ben <laughs> or Garza. That's fine, that's fine. We can, we can do that. We can do that. We can, uh, like, uh, get a spot yeah, for hmm. somebody else. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys. Oh yeah, who's coming in? Yeah, we'll we'll figure oh. out a spot. <laughs> okay. All right. But anyways, um no, but yeah, that was the whole idea was just to try to like, you know, try to get it, but you know, it wasn't going to work flawlessly. And uh Scott, what were you going to ask him? <laughs> well, I honestly 
I was going to, because at least because I got to be there for the real in motion round table after fandom. Yeah. I was, I was totally going to be a wonderful podcast podcast host. And I was, especially when I saw the time ticking away, I was like, Tim had a good one. Uh, and I, I, know, I know. Totally, I, 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 had, I totally I had ready, ready for Tim to just take. I had it. already. I had the. I had that graphic. I was like, I was like, as soon as like I was you... thinking about you guys, I was gonna pull up the graphic of you know what you sent me, Tim, and I was like, damn it. But then he was like, also w- before Stephen and uh, and Andrew came on, I was like, he said like, oh, I gotta, I'm gonna have to get going here, and I was like, damn it, too bad. But you know, it's what um, well. What if Scott, if Tim wants to give the the question, I can give my best Zach. Yeah, um, we can think about what he would say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tim, your audio is not working. By the way, you're oh, you're talking. It, it's great. Weird. It's it's like my it's like my dream come true. It's like you're talking. <laughs> <out of theorem. laughs> it happens sometimes. Yeah. Someone's getting blown up at the end of the next. We don't want to not get blown up at the end of the episode. Actually, no. Dave's getting blown up at the next. The next <laughs> oh, <podcast. laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, oh, I, I'm gonna I get think... so much hate from Garza. Yeah, and... hey, Gar, he Garza already had him on his okay, show. because we got we got the better of the. Uh, <laughs> the <real motion. laughs> you, you showed up first, Ben. You should. I'm sorry, Ben. I'm it's sorry. <laughs> hey, I was trying my best. I was trying my best. Hey, Ben, I don't want to hear it. He's already been on your show. Exactly. Okay? Exactly. Yeah. Tim, Tim, and I are sitting here going. <laughs> when, when, when is he on the squad cast? That, that's the question. You know what? That's the question I'm going to ask. When does he come on to DC Film Squadcast? Remember, squadcastmedia.com. That's it. The thing is that I actually text my kids like, hey, listen, I'm going to be with Sack. And like, they're <laughs> And they're already te- texting me like, you I promise I'll be at your baseball game and Zach Snyder's going to be on the podcast. It was so yeah. hard. It was oh, so no. difficult because I was like, I was like trying to, I was looking at the time oh, no. and you know, it was funny because, ah oh, man, it was funny because he showed up a little bit late, you know, and then it was like, ah, oh. it was like, when, when is he going to, ah. Another guy who's disappointed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you know, hey, Marty. Go ahead. you, you still asked the chin question, Dave. I did. Still I did. asked the chin <laughs> question. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what would I do? Okay, who's yeah. like, who's hey, like, who like, sounds like an eight? Who's that? That's really bad. Really bad. Yeah, somebody's mic is really messed up. Oh. Oh, it's Swenson? No? No. 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 Garza's is not here, so no. It's gonna be a is wild it mine? No. Tim? No. No. Is it Tim? Tim. Feedback? Yeah, Tim, your audio. Yeah, your audio is messed up, Tim. Yeah. Tim. Yeah, because we can't we... <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's you. That's weird. Then one day, I got it. And now it's not even your fault, Dave. See? <laughs> See? Now it's not your fault. You're off yeah. the hook. I'm totally off the hook. That yeah. would have been even worse. See, my son, my son just texted me, you're such a loser. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you had him on your show. No, 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 no. no, no. They, they, they're not. They just wanted to see me. <laughs> but my son is, like, calling me, like, well, I'm waiting for an oh, hour. <laughs> like, yeah, me too. I mean, it was a really entertaining hour. It was no, it was. Hour. It was. It was. It definitely was. Thank yeah. you. No, it's quite fine. We'll have him again on our uh, Real Emotion podcast. <laughs> Cheers. I, I'm already on my second glass, Everett. Come on. Oh. And, and, and not only am I on my second glass, I didn't even get to talk to the man. Like, ah, like that's that just I, like, oh. so bad. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. sorry, Scott. Oh, man. I was like, yeah, Tim, it's your audio that's giving that feedback, by the way. I don't know what's going on with that. Right away, I posted that image of uh, Chris Farley uh, where he's like looking up and then he's like disappointed. I, like, oh. <laughs> oh, I know i know you know it was funny too because like i try to plan this out as best i can to like get everybody involved and i was oh, really yeah. just like banking on like oh he'll he'll do two hours come on he did two hours on the other stream right 
But then I didn't think about like how late it is and the fact that he yeah. was, you know, drinking Look some bourbon. So he, nah, yeah. it was cool actually. It, I was like really excited when, uh, like, I, I actually jumped for joy when when he said that he's aware of Steven uh, and Dice uh, show. I'm like, whoa, he yeah, actually listens to them. <laughs> like he's like one of us. He, like listen to each other. One of us. <laughs> <laughs> it's a forty club. No, sorry. I know. Oh, hey, <laughs> did you see how I uh, emphasized that? When he, said 40, yeah. he said forty yeah. more times. I was like, yeah. he said it. He said it twice. Yeah. He did. He, did. That was he, on did. Purpose. he said it on purpose. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 Meg, you look lovely today, by the way. Thank Your you. mom so and dad you. just wanted you to know. Thank you. <laughs> I love dad, you guys. I just got that. <laughs> Where's Garza? Is he just like out of spite, not jumping in? Probably, probably. Yeah, he's salty. Like he a has monster. a lot of spare spice. He's in the back nah, kicking a trash can. Nah, yeah, <laughs> not I, I can picture that so well. <laughs> I know. I was like, when but the, the thing is, it's like, you know, when he when he's talking, you just want to fucking listen. And then all of a sudden it's like all of a sudden he says something and I'm going, oh, and then I wanted to ask him something else. And I was like, I was trying. I was like, uh, I didn't keep it to a tight fucking half hour. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, all I know is way. that when he mentioned the fact that he wants to make an adaptation of Blood Meridian, I'm like, yeah. Zack mm -hmm. Snyder doing Cormac McCarthy. Are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? I'll Bring that on. That's going to want, yeah. I mean, Tim oh, and I, re maybe. Tim and I reviewed No Country for Old Men, yeah. and we love The Road. Yeah. And it's like, we, well, we both love Cormac McCarthy, McCarthy it's as like, well. Give yeah. me Blood Meridian. That's. Yep. I've been told how depressing that, like that book's <laughs> reputation is how utterly gut wrenching and depressing it is. Yeah. Bring it on. I mean, like, that's basically like if people thought that, um, like he was already like pushing the boundaries a bit much. That's <laughs> that's like the mm -hmm. the yeah. If they let him do whatever he wants, then that's that's the movie that like breaks oh. Hollywood, right? <laughs> Was it Blood Meridian? I gotta check that out. Yeah, yeah. Blood Meridian by yeah. Cormac McCarthy. Yes. Um, yeah, I'll have to check that out myself. My but, wife uh, was saying he would make a visually appealing rom com. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, we know <laughs> hey Tim, by the way, now that your audio is actually working, congratulations. <laughs> I haven't done anything. I haven't changed anything. I, I who knows? Oh, yeah. I, yeah. All I know is that this is what happens when you when you do it from your kitchen instead of from the from your office. It's probably <laughs> what happens. Since <laughs> since since Dave oh. asked, what what share what your question? Yeah, yeah. What was the be. question? Guys? Oh, okay. I, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was just going to kind of make the point. Uh, well, I was going to start off just saying, you know, we started our show uh, basically because of Man of Steel. And, uh, you know, we saw as that, you know, shared universe was getting built up every single subsequent film. It was it was building up. You know, the audience was just getting bigger and bigger. And then come Justice League, it dropped down from Wonder Woman. And then since Justice League came out, we had a 62 percent drop and we've never recovered. All right. So. And we've talked to some of our other uh, friends and, you know, in, in the podcasting world that do similar shows to us. And and they've told us they've seen the same kind of numbers. And so that was going to just kind of like tell him that, like, that's how important um, he, he has been for this fan base. And then I was just going to basically ask that, you know, that big film slate that Warner Brothers released back in 2014, October 2014. You know, they released, uh, you know, it was announcing Cyborg. Batman v Superman and Cyborg, Wonder Woman, Justice League Part One, Part Two. Shazam, you know, Suicide Squad. And my question was going to be like, was there really a big plan for all these to be part of some big story? Was there was there like a loose outline put together? And uh, so I, I'm, I'm particularly curious about, you know, was Suicide Squad originally supposed to be part, you know, much more integrated uh, into that original plan? I think we've heard a lot of rumors about that. And then the other part was, uh, you know, did Shazam actually fit into that somewhere? Or was that just another film that they just wanted to do? So that was, that I know was my how question. Zach would have answered that. Huh. Go ahead. Yeah. So, so, so the Zach answer to that is, um, all right. Look. So, <laughs> here's the thing. <laughs> when you've got, you've got you've got these movies, listen, and listen, all right. Well, so, you're, you're so start with on, this. A, on a timeline, Take your glasses off at least. <laughs> <laughs> you got to look at. So, so you go back. You go back and you start with Man of Steel. But I mean, really, you go back and you start. Like the DC universe has been around for. It's 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 American Shakespeare, right? So, was there a plan? Yes, but here's the thing: when you're dealing with myth mythology and um, archetypes of this nature, you've got to, you know. So, okay. So when you break it down, <laughs> do they connect? Yes, but 
you can't just <laughs> extend the timeline and demand that everyone fits the same mold. Do you want to pick a minute and come on the podcast with us? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, he's about to withdraw his invite. <laughs> right, sorry, no, Stephen, but, but, but the question is, was there an idea? Yeah. Yes, there was an idea. Mm. So I was, I was hoping to get him. We were just watching the to... wheels turn. I like that part. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, as anybody who listens to BVS by the minute can now like sing a song of praise that I'm not going to say he did this intentionally, right? <laughs> he 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 planned this minute by minute intentionally. No, he's not gaslighting you. So it's, <laughs> over time, he was like, you know, the first time he brought I, it up to I, me, and then it just kept. I'm a walking Charlie Day like... meme. Every time we do a minute, I'm like, it ends. <laughs> like you guys wait until we get to minute 83. I was just talking to Dice about minute 83 earlier. <laughs> I like you. Like that minute is gonna. Be gold. I don't know how he. It's the whole movie is in one minute. It's insane. Yeah. You were full on Pepe Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I've got. I'll. I'll get the 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 yarn and cork board and everything going. All I know is that for me, I had about a pay. There, yeah. you can see the notes that I took to get ready for tonight because I, when he talked about the fact that he's finally going to break down that uh, all the heavens, all the hells uh, shirt. Mm -hmm. I mean. I I found that if no one's read it, do a Google search of when he was interviewed by the DGA quarterly back in 2010. A guy mm -hmm. basically sat down and watched Excalibur with him. Mm -hmm. I, do, I mean, I broke that article down because I love Excalibur. That is an amazing movie. I love the yeah. way, I mean, anyone who knows that movie when they watch BVS, you see the marquee. You see the poster at the Monarch. The way freaking Superman dies at the end is straight up Arthur and Mordred going at it at the end of that movie. And then when he does that shirt, and he's got the sword going through the middle with a round table and, every, and everything else. I, I was... I'm ready to break it down. It's like talk, <laughs> talk to me about that because we like when, you, we got to get him on that on your podcast, man. That's, oh my god, I was Scott actually wrote Excalibur, a second dissertation on Excalibur by the minute. I, I <laughs> Amanda, here, here it is. I know you did. I know you did. Someone was just asking about Excalibur the other day, and I was like, I don't know how to explain it. It's so extra. It's like. It's so like extra. no, it is. It's the most extra <laughs> like movie. Princess ever. Bride, but serious. No, it's like it's like a two-hour-long Martha moment. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, you didn't like, right, that is incredible. No, you no, he, so okay, you. let me let me at least. I, I the, the 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 people the viewers probably don't give a crap. I don't care. I want to <laughs> I want to read this quote that Snyder says about Sorry, John no Bor about John Borman. I know what I, I know. I know what quote it is. I know. I know, it and it's like I just want to swap Borman's name out for Snyder because what Snyder says about Borman is what we would say about Snyder because he said the thing about Borman is he's one of these rare guys who combines drama and being a visualist the drama of the movie is clearly the most important thing to him but the way he sees it is incredible incredibly painterly mm. <laughs> and dear god go and watch Watch Excalibur if you have not seen that movie. I'm sorry. I will. I will a long sink time it ago. Crazy. I got to revisit it. Yeah. So yeah. that. So if he ever comes on DC Film Squadcast, Zach, if you eventually hear this, please come on our show. <laughs> I, I'm I'm ready because I'm ready to break down some some Arthur and some freaking Joseph Campbell. I'm like I am ready for it. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I know we got to get him on uh, everybody's stuff here. Uh, Amanda, is that true? We're at thirteen eighty. Now, wow, that's awesome. 1380. Oh, wow, almost, nice, almost 1380. That's incredible. I've had to do, I just want to shout out. Um, I should go get my notes. I, I also had a Charlie Day moment, and there's like five pages of notes ripped out of it. <laughs> but there were one, two, three, four, five, six, at least seven different types of currency that I had oh, wow. to convert. Yeah. 
I was like, I did not even think about that. I was was no, I didn't either until I started doing it. And then I started <laughs> categorizing it. I developed a system mid cycle. It was great. You started it was crying. Great. Then I started crying. What's it hit? What's <laughs> after I left? <laughs> oh, what you did? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> after I left the first time and he was like, let's get it to a thousand. Like immediately after that, it broke a thousand. And I was just like, I'm going to oh, freak out. Man. I'm going to freak out. It was yeah. amazing. So I know when, um, when, when you left and he was talking about leaving, I was like, oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I want to get to Cali before you leave. No. <laughs> I know. I, I, um, it happens. It's okay. You know, I'm a hot mess tonight, but I'm here. And I mean, we you know what? I mean, I, I I knew I knew it wasn't gonna wasn't gonna go flawlessly. I had an idea. Like all of a sudden, like it was funny because when I thought about this thing, like I really was like, ah, how am I gonna approach this? Because I want to incorporate as many of you as possible because it is supposed to be something about you know us united, whatever the hell. But yeah. I was like, you know, yeah. my little yeah, my little know. sanction, my little yeah, not you, Matt. I didn't really give a shit. Just yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I wanted to incorporate everybody. And I was like, how am I going to do this? And that's why I was like, I mean, today it was just like nonstop, like DMs. And I was like trying to figure out who's going to go first, second, third, and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll pair. I'm going to pair everybody to like their brands and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, Okay, wow. and then I knew like Justin I was had anywhere similar to Chris's. Chris is like the nice guy, and I'm like the dude who's like a jerk. Yeah, dick. like well, you know what? Oh, yeah. You balance each thing. other. Though. You two, you two were like <laughs> single lot. You, you two were like by yourselves, and I was like, oh, okay. okay. But I'm like Justin has a book. I'm like Justin has a book to fucking promote, and you know, you know which by I, the way, there's an awesome interview on DC Film Squadcast that you can yeah. download now and listen to. Exactly. It was that, that's a, that is that is a really good episode, and I don't say that because I'm on it. Like Scott is a great interviewer. He is a great. He really interview. is. He really is. I've been I had a too. lot of fun with that episode, and Tim got to yeah. take the day off. I mean, he, oh, he thought it was a great you, episode too. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. See, but see, like, you know, and I was trying to like organize and I was like, okay, I'll do, you know, I'll double it up. Cool. And then even Colbert was like, oh, can I bring on Dice? And I'm like, yeah, and Dice has never been on. I've always wanted to talk to Dice. Sweet. You know, let's do it like that. And I was just trying to organize it. But then I was like, and then all of a sudden I realized, I'm like, wow, I don't know how long Zach actually wants to be on this thing. <laughs> you know, and that's, that's the problem I had. And then, you know, you know, he, when I talked to him earlier, he was like, oh yeah, we'll just do like, you know, like an hour. And I'm like, okay, I can probably get him for longer. He stayed on for an hour and a half. Yeah. It was cool. You know, yeah. and I, and yeah. I really, I, I really wanted to get everybody on there ask a question as well as all the fan stuff that I wanted. Thank you, Meg, for screenshotting on it. She was like sending me messages. She was sending me screenshots and I was like, shit, but he's talking about Batman right now. He's talking about eye makeup. I gotta gotta say something, Dave. Um, I've been watching your show forever. And so this is a pivotal moment. Yes. Awesome. I'm so fucking happy for you, dude. Here, here. Yes. So here, here. Are, yeah, buddy. Yeah, when when you got it, I was like, oh, Dave finally got it, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Long time well, coming. My hero, Anyone man. that's been I, I watching him, from like like anyone that's been watching Dave since back like during the like BB Man of Steel, even, right? Yeah. But I mean, like yeah. Dave and I met because we were both covering the Justice League reshoots, and we were both like, oh, we had so much logical proof that it was still Zach's movie. Yeah. We were all <laughs> over it. Yeah. Um, and I'd write an article proving that it was Zach's movie, and then Squadcast would talk Which about came it. Back and Dave to would you talk about ass, it. by the way. <laughs> yeah. And that's, and that's like how we all met. And I think we kind of all had a sobering moment afterwards, and then we're like, oh, we need to take this, like, we need to approach the way we evaluate these movies differently. And, uh, oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, it was and like then, an awakening man, moment. Ugh. Three years ago, man. Yeah, crazy. Oh, man. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, cheers, cheers. Yeah. Fourteen twenty-six. Whoa. Like I said, like I said, I wanted Ooh. to get, every, I wanted wow. to get all you guys on here, and I'm, you know, I apologize that you didn't, that didn't happen, but I appreciate you guys being patient and everything. You know, try to make it something, but you know, hey, sometimes. Hey, Dave, d- here's the, here, here's the, here's what really needs to be understood. This is your flipping show. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You take the time. <laughs> yes. You Absolutely. want. You take the time. I like. I, I was talk to Zach the, about eye makeup as much as you <laughs> yes. want. I'm not going to give Dave any shit because as at watching the DMs today, as I'm supposed to be teaching children, um, you know, and and like just trying to get to three o'clock today. It was one of those days. Oh yeah. But I, I was watching the DMs. He's like, oh, I'll make it thirty minutes. Like. Dave, the, the amount that you were willing, and, and in my head, I'm like, screw that shit. It's yeah. your show. Take the yes. time, man. Yes. Yeah. I know. I, I mean, like when we kept talking, I was like, Dad, I just want to know more about that. And then, yeah. you know, just talking, you know, I had to ask about the eye makeup. Come on, guys. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the well, things. Every well, man four times. Times. Yeah. I needed three ask. years in the making. Yeah. I want to know who his favorite uh, Spider-Man was. That's gonna reach through the screen and slap you personally. <laughs> Whoa, who, 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 Matt, actually, Matt, Matt left. Who Matt was like, "That was that was." Matt enough. just leave. So, Matt, Matt just left. Just leave. Now we know who we know, we know where the line is with Matt. It's Spider Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey no, Matt, but, but, you didn't have to get a head about that. Jeez, man. That's all pissed off. <laughs> I didn't think fist. that would actually work. I was just fishing around. I was like, oh, I wonder what that button does. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> What's the reaction to this button? No. <laughs> oh, man. No, but like, yeah, it was just, you know, when it, you know, it's funny, too, because I have I mean, I only like did probably like a third or fourth of what I wrote down. You know, I wanted to I wanted to go deep. I was like, so like you grew up in, or you, you were born in Wisconsin. You grew up in Connecticut, apparently. What was your mom and dad like? <laughs> you know, I was going to go that far. I was going to go Let's that deep. From the beginning. <laughs> then I was like, no. All of a sudden we were talking about Jared Little Joker. I'm like, OK. And it's oh, you, OK. Get this, guys. Everybody. OK, get this. So. <laughs> So like he's like uh, you know when when he actually like called me when I recorded my Jared Little Joker movie it was you actually can hear the video that I did you actually can hear me go oh my phone's ringing that was her actually calling me I oh. was wondering about yes. that I so, was wondering. like when you hear me in the video go oh my phone's ringing that was Snyder calling because he was requesting the link at like four forty seven or something like that. I don't know what it was. And I was like, Oh shit. So I called him back and we talked about, you know, we were talking and, and I was like, Hey, yeah, yeah. If you want to, uh, I'll send it to you as soon as I get it ready. And if you want to like do a little pre-show prep, you know, talk about whatever. And if you want to show me some kind of Joker images, that'd be cool too. And he goes, Oh yeah. Yeah. We could probably do that. And I was like, ha, ah! but then you know what happened? Like as much as he was like going like, "Hey, where's the link? Where's the link?" He didn't show up till after eight o'clock, and I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, oh, <laughs> you could have seen it." I didn't see it. I didn't see oh. the Joker. Damn it, uh, <laughs> Swenson. Uh, yo, oh, man. Uh, I know it was just like. So I was like trying to. I like, have a feeling this won't be the last time we interact. Well, we're with doing him. it forty more times. He said. He 40 said more forty more times. That's right. More times. Between now and dollars. Tuesday. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I'm like, I imagine that. But I was like, you know, it was just like because I knew he showed Grace because she uh, was like openly like, "Hey, you showed me that." Blah blah blah. And I was like, "Okay, somehow can I get to see that?" And then I was like, I even like made the joke. I'm, um, you know, at the beginning, I was like, "Hey, you know, if you want to show anything on your phone, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> just keep it PG-13." Got mm -hmm. a little chuckle out of him, but he didn't show anything. I was like, "Damn it!" I was, I, I tried, guys, I tried, but you know. It's whatever. It's fine. We'll probably see something Tuesday. Here's the, I think mm. so, to someone in the comments saying, don't complain. I don't think no. anyone's complaining. No, We're no, all beating no, ourselves no, up because we want to spend, no. we want to respect I'm his time. I'm completely being like kind of facetious about all that. Yes. You know, as much as I yes. want to feel yeah. that stuff, I don't, you know what? Tonight, as much as like when I got home, it was like I was scrambling, you know, because I was trying to do my new setup. Uh, that I wanted to do with my whole little like bar stool and blah, blah, blah. And try to give oh, that. Yeah. It wasn't working. It wasn't working. Like I set everything up and it just was not working. We're like, you know, I, cause I look at all this shit that I have on my desk. I literally have a notepad, two keyboards, a laptop. Blah, blah. It wasn't going to fit on that. The little, light was great was, though. Yeah. Yes. And, and it, yeah. And it was just like trying to like do everything. And it Thank was like, you, Dave. yeah. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. You made a great call about the quality of the stream. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I do but too. It was, but it was like, 
things were just not working with all that. So I was trying to scramble. And then I was like talking to Meg. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do about the super chat because of this. And then I was talking to Amanda and talking to Steve. And I was like, ah, shit, I don't know. I got home and I was like, oh my God, like I can't donate any of this money because it's going to be locked up in YouTube for another month. You know, and, and it was just kind of like, yeah, it was just things that I did not think about. So I was like scrambling and thank you guys for, you know, helping me out and everything. It like turned that. out great. Hey, oh no, it turned huge, out huge shout out to Meredith Henning from AFSP. I emailed her and said, Zack Snyder vodka stream in the subject line. <laughs> and I explained, hi, on, we're Friday, host night on at Friday night <laughs> at like 6 p.m. Her at six something her time. And I said, hi, we're hosting Zack Snyder in 56 minutes. Help. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and she replied within seven minutes. Oh, so wow. Wow. I appreciate it. Awesome. I, she created yeah. a filter on all her communication accounts that if anything Zack Snyder pops up, it goes to the top of the list. <laughs> yeah. Don't. Yeah. No, but it was like it was just it was it was like it was a mad scramble. Like I thought I was like I was like ah oh, no it'll be a it'll be fine. I got my you know and today I was like you know I wrote out everything. I was like I got this. Oh I figured it out. I figured out the formula. But then when I got home I was like oh ah, oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit. It was like that. <laughs> as soon as I got home I was like oh my god I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And then oh. like I said I had to tear down this setup. Put it over there. Wasn't working. Tear it down over there. Put it back over here. And it was like, oh shit, you know. It was just. Huh. I will say to pile on on Chris's compliment about this being like a, a such a huge moment for anyone who's watched you over the years. Um, I I know that. Um, since you started doing live stuff with the vodka stream, is, it, is the vodka stream like two years old now? Almost, um, like a year and a half. And, um, and I, and I remember you talked about the vodka stream and your goal was like, you wanted it to be like a late night show kind of, yeah. kind of yeah. style. And you talked mm -hmm. about, um, you know, you wanted like an Adam Carolla vibe or, or something like that. Oh and I think more than, <laughs> than like any other vodka stream, the way that you, you the variety and the, in the banter with the interview, um, yeah. I'll say like, you, like, like you hit it like that was yeah i know that's what you've been going for and that was what that was tonight thank, so. thank you thank you yeah. thank you i'm, I'm going to so that thank you because um uh, that that is something that i always wanted like if he ever shows up anywhere it should be on dave's mm -hmm. no matter what mm -hmm. like like if we ever did a another uh round table whatever it was like i was always no dude this guy he paved the way for for Chris, for for uh, for us, for uh, Scott and Tim, everybody that's here, you you are the guy who got us. Uh, well, <laughs> me. And, oh, I'm the comic book marks guy. There, there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, 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 come on. We yeah, and Matt, Matt, I'm sorry. Matt, you know what, Matt? I'm I, I miss you on this fucking stream. No, too. but uh, in all honesty, I, you I, did an amazing job, dude. It, yeah, it, you did. You, Thank you. you it, it was well deserved. This is long overdue that you got this opportunity to get him on the show. Well, cheers, guys. Thank uh, you. Thank you. That. Appreciate and I appreciate the help. I mean, it was it was not. Yeah. And hey, I, I personally yeah. think you managed it perfectly. I mean, yeah, you, you, you that was a joke, guys. I mean, like when, when, when he, I mean, the thing is, he's a very easy guy to talk to. Yeah, he I've is. Talked to him very, you know, I've talked to him more than once. Mm -hmm. And I mean, even like when he called me the other day when we were setting this whole thing up. I mean, we just like we talked for like almost ten minutes, just like just talking about just everything and just you know laughing about oh yeah i'm like what happened to the fucking trailer oh yeah the stupid and he was like oh yeah it was a it was the license to move it was a fuck up and he was just like it was a fuck up and i'm like what the fuck's going on and then and then i made the joke tonight i'm like you should just put it back on with black and black back and black you know and it was like yeah i mean just he's so easy to talk to so easy to joke around with even like when we you know and i know matt hates the fact that i always uh comment on like how did you cast batman was it just chins i i get it matt i get it <laughs> I had to bring it up again. I had to bring it up again, but I wanted to like. Parlay. Even was like, wait, didn't we already do this? And you're like, yeah, but. <laughs> was like, you know, you know how long I'm obsessed well, with that. That's funny that he remembers. Like, he's like, that's he what we talked about in line at SnyderCon. Why are you asking yeah. me again now? Like, that's the kind of guy he is. Yeah. Like, he's yeah. like, I know you. You, you got to ask me about the chin in line at SnyderCon two years ago. Were, now I'm remember. cringing even more, <laughs> knowing that he remembers everything. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me while I melt into the floor. Um, I just want to shout out we. 
are now at 1430 yeah. and yes. some change. Nice. Mm-hmm. And nice. um I uh also, happy Diwali to our international Indian. friends. You guys yeah, showing Indian, up. Yeah. Everybody. Um, sending you light. It's the festival of light. If you see a house with all the lights on right now, they're celebrating Diwali, <laughs> and it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. And you, you, you would do yourself well to be invited to a Diwali celebration at your friend's mm-hmm. house if you have a friend that will invite you. Mm-hmm. Amen. Oh, cool. But uh, yeah, man. I mean, it's it's that was crazy. I mean, yeah. Thank you, Meg, too, Meg, for hey, I was no like, problem. I was, I was like, I was gonna ta- I tasked her to do like the social media stuff, and to uh, you know, be like, hey, send me something when it's a fan question in a live chat. And like I said, you didn't, you you you, you did your job, and I was like, <laughs> ah, but he's talking about batman's eye makeup i know there are so <laughs> many cool questions yeah, too. hey I'm meg i want to i want to send a shout out because you actually picked a question of a friend of mine <gasps> there it is oh That's david awesome. david c robertson from dc on screen who also lives in birmingham like we <laughs> actually live like 20 minutes down the road from each other oh, wow. and i heard you pick his question i was just like i i literally like grabbed my phone i was like dave your question got picked. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was so excited for Dave. Squad me. Ask question right there. <laughs> the, fir- the first question was actually from one of the, our guys from the Real Emotion podcast. Uh, oh, and there was there was a, yes. ton, a ton of Ambrish. questions. Uh, Krypton Page had a really cool question that I wanted to ask, but what was it? What was, what was it again? Was it? Well, I can uh, I can answer that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can start with yeah. listen. <laughs> it was, uh, about the nightmare sequence. Um, hold on, I have a bunch of screenshots here. <laughs> he said, "Can you please talk about your nightmare world and how much we, of it we can see in Zack Snyder's Justice League?" Ooh. Love you. Yeah, that would have been good. Yeah. Been good. yeah. Hey, Matt. Matt, what was your question? Since you're, oh, know, me. oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It was, you know, what Daredevil did he like? Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I mean, as the stream was going on, I started deleting a bunch. So, so I was like, well, that one's not getting. Nope, nope, nope. And so I started getting dwindling down. Uh, um, I, mean, I can ask him my question about planning the movie a minute at a time now, Stephen. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's just something uh, that Shane and I have always been wondering. Wondering if uh, in Man of Steel, when uh, Superman's looking up at the world engine and the face kind of morphs, is oh, it an actual Christopher man. Reeves oh, yes. homage? Or oh, is it just the wow. fact that somebody said it a long time ago and now I see it every time? Because is it, is, is it actually meant to be that? Or am I seeing that? That I was one of them. answered that one before. I remember see, seeing him comment on that, saying it wasn't it wasn't okay. intentional, if I remember right. Oh, Anyone else remember that? Oh, no, it just looked no. like him, I guess. Yeah, I remember Talking seeing about questions he's already answered, though. I he guess said before that the, the Man of Steel version that's out is his director's cut. He said that, yeah, at the director's yeah. Cut yeah he said that before. Well, now we know that Henry Cavill looks like Christopher Reeve when he's constipated. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a heavy yeah. wind fan in his Well, that's his face he's making. So <laughs> <laughs> um, I okay. want to especially shout out to Travis. Uh, I believe Travis Snell. Please tell me I'm getting that right, Scott. Yes, yes Travis Snell. That is correct. He donated to the cause tonight and sent me a lovely message um, thanking us for all of our support last week for their stream. And like, I'm just, I'm going to cry off camera. I'm not going to cry here, but it's very sweet. I also want to say like this Us United thing, um, I have seen like screenshots today from people who are apologizing to one another and like kissing and making up people are ki- people are actually kissing and making up i mean not kissing maybe but twitter, they're making up twitter um yeah they're twitter kissing and yeah. it's really beautiful to see so um thank you for hosting this dave so much yeah, no problem First of all, yeah. is twitter kissing called twisting <laughs> I like Somebody it. Somebody in the like chat it. said that Snyder has said that the the Christopher Reeves thing is unintentional. I don't know how how much truth to the comment in the chat is, but 
I feel like he said it somewhere before, but I I don't, I feel like it wasn't necessarily an interview. It was like a fan asked him or something. So it's one of those ones that's hard to track down. Maybe in Barrow, like a Barrow comment. It might have been, uh, actually, thinking about it, it might have been somebody in the VFX department that had answered that question as well. Mm, Okay. So, but I remember being directly answered by somebody in the production. Oh, what a shit on that for us thing. (laughs) 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 Just kidding. That's good. That was just, yeah, that and uh, I always wanted to ask him. Uh, for Watchmen, like uh, when it comes to the graphic novel at the end, near the end there, there's always a discussion between Ozymandias and Dr. Manhattan. Mm. And it's Ozymandias questioning whether or not he did the right thing or not in the graphic novel. And he didn't do that in the movie. And I was always curious because I always thought that was kind of a, a moment for Ozymandias to really Well, he would have to uh, have had used the squid, yeah. wouldn't it? <laughs> Justin <laughs> got a great was... video about how um about how Snyder kind of um, uh, under what's the what's the, there's a word there's a word <laughs> he, he changes the ending to um to sub, he subverts that's the word yeah. subverts mm-hmm. it. how I, much uh, have you been drinking Stephen <laughs> um, it's one, the contact high for glass. me <laughs> no, honestly, I'm more tired than than, than having dr- drank drinking um I'm really proving my point here aren't I the point is, watch Justin's video about the ending of uh, of Watchmen and how it subverts kind of what Moore was doing in the in the comic, but in a in a way that kind of really is is a cool twist on the material. Yeah. To, so to answer that question, uh, I don't, I'm not going to give the whole backstory in the video. Watch the video, but I would say that that would paint Ozymandias in too nuanced of a light. He's supposed to come off more villainous in Snyder's movie. And when showing the, the moment of doubt undermines what Snyder was doing with the Ozymandias character. Hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. Not to destroy the conversation. You got that, Matt? <laughs> I mean, either way, I think, that's, I, think it's, I think the ending was better than the original graphic novel, honestly. Yeah. You know, yeah, me too. I liked it better. Yeah. No, I mean, sometimes, I mean. It worked for the Steven series, adapting, though. Yeah, when it comes to adapting, I mean, sometimes things just don't adapt well to yeah. you know, live action. I mean, and and I think Snyder knows this. You know, he knew that, and it was like, okay, that then, you know, the original Watchmen ending not going to really translate too well. Well, and it's well, you and need it's also form. when you do an adaptation, it's also Snyder. Snyder is one of those filmmakers who wants to bring his own thing to yeah. it so it's not just a literal adaptation it's okay i'm going to adapt this but adaptation means that things will be changed yeah. as we view it from a different lens and so that's how i've always viewed it that's that's another one of with, those he did it with 300 a lot oh yeah um, yeah and yeah. so that was definitely one of those things that like i, I wanted to, one i wanted of those to... questions that i want to ask yeah, kids, yeah. Right? what is so. it what is it like with this adaptation like with, like with Army of the Dead, it's his own thing. He gets to do an original, like Sucker Punch, his original thing. But when he does the adaptations, yeah, yeah. I've always had the question about what is it that you intentionally wanted to bring when you told this story? Because that would inform changes you're going to make in your version. And that's always something that people don't understand is the filmmaker is making their version you can like it or dislike it that's your choice as, a, as an audience member but it's always interesting to know where were you coming from yeah. when you adapted it well and i love how he differentiated between like dark knight rises being a story that he wants to tell versus yeah, right. batman canon being something he likes to draw elements from like he differentiated that as its own story because that's how it was written right as opposed to like this long-running like sequence of stories or installments of Batman, um, which I really appreciated. Well, to build on what both Steven and uh, Scott are saying is, I think the most maddening thing to me about Snyder is, it, you know, you heard him, he mentioned it, what, four times? It's all about the why, it's all about the why, it's all about the why. But he will never, ever explicitly say what the why of his choices were. He always dances around it and never directly says it. It's maddening to me. <laughs> yeah. Gotta get that David Lynch clip that we put on the podcast. I think early on, where the movie—it was the movie—is the talking. Yes, I remember yeah. that episode. I like what? What don't? What are you getting about about this? Or it was like it's the same thing as Christopher Nolan, right? With Inception, was the weirdest thing that people ask me 
did the top fall over at the end? And then the second weirdest is that they think I'm going to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> like I would have put that at the end of the movie if I wanted you to. Right. right yeah, exactly. I wanted to tell you the answer. Yeah. Right, yeah. 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 The best out. stories don't have clean endings. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And it's exactly. always funny. The audience members who want the clean endings and those of us who are like, Oh, give me the ambiguity all day long. I'm going to have fun with this one. And it's, yeah. it, it, it really is a it is that line in the sand when it comes to an audience. Some people need it wrapped up in a bow. And some yeah. people want it left hanging. Because in my opinion, that gives me something to talk about afterwards. I remember uh, when I was younger, that was me. I had to have it bowed. I had to be wrapped yeah. up and everything. And yeah. I still remember like The Departed. <laughs> Was uh, that, uh, the yeah. way the departed ended? And I remember when I first saw it, I was like, "What? What? what, what, what what's what, Marky what, Mark? What is what, he? Is he? What? What is he doing? He, is he, he bad? Doing? Is he good? What is he doing? He just killed. He just walked away. I'm like, oh my god, Leo's dead. What the hell is going on? And oh, man. and I remember I, at first I was so frustrated with that ending, but now I freaking love it. Oh, I have grown yeah. past that, and I love that ending because it's just so up in the air with that. Yeah. I love. Well, it. and that's I mean, and that's why I've always loved Zack Snyder as a filmmaker, and then uh, even going you know prior to Zack Snyder, uh, Stanley Kubrick. I mean, those any kind of those films uh, that just kind of leave you thinking about it, you know, for days on end afterwards, and then even years. I mean, that that's like that's what draws me to film is, is yeah. that kind of storytelling. Yeah, you don't want anything wrapped up in a bow anymore. I mean, you no. want that open, like that that discussion, like you said, with Inception. I mean, how many times have I had conversations? Does it topple? I mean, you see it like spinning, and then it wiggles a little bit, mm -hmm. and then it's like, well, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you you have to white watch the whole movie again to be like, ah, there's a little. Is there little Easter eggs that maybe he's dreaming? He's not wearing his ring when he's like in a dream sequence or something like that. I don't know. I don't get it. You know, well, there, there is some movies that wrap up pretty well. I mean, Logan oh, yeah. is one that wraps up really well and that's because that was built up to a certain point so yeah logan i think is a good one that wraps up pretty tightly oh yeah wraps up well yeah i think i'm when it comes to like uh the end of a superhero like genre like uh, a character very much very well i mean e and even james mangold even said like you know when it when it when you're referencing the wolverine when uh that other mutant goes oh you're gonna die with your heart in your hands and blah 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 and he played into that and i was like oh yeah look at that that's cool look at that symbolism yay you know the heart is his daughter bah. you know it, it's very great it's heartwarming you know and that's why that that movie you know just really just kicks you you know kicks your heart in the balls when when wolverine dies and that's why I'm like, when I hear these rumors that, oh, yeah, maybe Hugh Jackman comes back. I'm like, no, don't no, do it. Please no, please don't. Don't do, no, it. do it. Please don't do it. As much as I want to see you with Ryan Reynolds and fucking Deadpool, do not do it. You know, if you're going to, if, if Hugh Jackman ever ha has an appearance in a Deadpool movie, let him be Hugh Jackman, not be Logan. You know, it could be a funny little, oh, there's Hugh Jackman, the actor. And do oh that. Whole gosh, yes. Yes. That that can that could be yes. the case, but not he cannot be Logan at all because they wrapped it up nicely, you know, 18, 19, whatever years it was, perfectly. So could be Ryan Reynolds just, in a Hugh Jackman mask. We'll do that again. There you yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, I mean would you guys hey, would you guys want to see a Joker sequel? I'll ask you that. Uh, no, 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 I don't. No, it would have I, to be. I mean, I mean, it would have to be something that's. I mean, I, I, I think I even did a video about it too, where like it would have to be something that takes place in the mental institute, where mm -hmm. maybe there's like a, a character that her name is like Harley or something like that. That would be like weird, where like people would be like, oh, interesting, but it would be very, very, very different. I don't know. It would have to be something. That would be just so off the fucking cuff, all off the wall, for me to appreciate it. Yeah, but well, that know. movie is like one of those like one-off movies that you don't want to be touched. Like the usual, yeah. suspect. like you don't want to see a mm -hmm. sequel from the usual for the usual usual suspect. That's a classic movie. Fuck no. Never Fuck. mind, never mind who made it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I agree. I agree with you guys because I'm in that same mindset. I, I don't like to um, force sequels on something that I think stands alone on its own really well. But I'm going to tell you right now, I just absolutely loved Joaquin, Joaquin Phoenix's yeah. performance in that. Like to me, it was like yeah. a generational performance. Oh, yeah. And uh, so for me, that I would be willing to break my general rule about not needing to skip it because I, I would just want to see more of that. Yeah. It would have to, like I said, it has to be something that's like 
wow, like truly like they uh, like Todd Phillips would have to be like, oh, we have an idea mm-hmm. for something that would actually work. But I mean, right. I, I don't know what that would be. And as far as I could tell, they haven't they're not going to crack that. I mean, as many times as we got this covered has said that <laughs> a sequel, you know, it, it's not happening. But, you know, you never know if they can crack something and Joaquin Phoenix goes, Joaquin Phoenix goes, holy shit. Yeah, I will do this. Then I'll be on board. I'll be like, okay, if they're all on board, if they're all going to do this and they all feel like they're confident, I'm going to be like, I'm going to be confident too going into that movie theater or to my couch, (laughs) whatever it's going to be in this fucking COVID world. Right. Is, wasn't it Mark Maron? He said that he he liked the fact that he could go to a movie that he doesn't understand what the fuck just happened. Yeah. Leave the movie theater still questioning his life about it because he doesn't know what the fuck he he's just watched like I an felt, adult. I felt like that with Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler, I walked yeah, out. I felt with that one. Gross. Yeah, I felt uh, gross, but I loved it. And I think it was uh, um, Jack. Um, uh, Hugh Jackman, Prisoners, I fell with that. Oh, movie. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I own that movie and I still need to watch it because it's Denis Villeneuve and I want. Oh, I like, man. You that's watch one of those. That movie. Oh, I'm going to. I know I'm going to enjoy it because it, be there's not a movie of his I've end. seen that I haven't enjoyed. Let's <laughs> yeah. put it that way. Always Keep that in mind, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> no. Even en- en- enemy, enemy, enemy is very hard for me to watch because I'm a little arachnophobic. Oh, that spider thing! Oh. oh my god! Oh. I'm, I mean, it's like it's jolting. I, yeah, I literally every time. Know. It's very jolting. Anytime you have a big spider, that's happening. But I mean, it's overall, it's a fucking great movie. It really isn't. I mean, you know. But um, yeah, Prisoners, like you said, is one of those movies where it's just like, yep. you. It's not a satisfying ending because you're like, you know, at the end, you're like. Whoa, 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 wait, yeah. wait, yep. wait, did he get out? No, <laughs> no, 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 Thank you for uh, joining tonight. I appreciate. Uh, I mean, I've always actually wanted you to come on here. Maybe eventually we'll have you as a future guest, for sure. And uh, but uh, I don't, I don't have any news to break. <laughs> <laughs> come on, you don't have an exclusive. I have a drop. Well, ex- that's an exclusive. Hey, you you've got two drop. Batmobile um, episodes that came out in one day. I ooh, think that is amazing. And we're talking about after a whole month. Geeking out on that over uh, over all the movies that uh, Tim Rigby has done. It's like right, like every every all of his favorite movies were like that had stunts done by this guy. Yeah, I think that's we haven't gotten that. That's the end of the interview when when he was like, uh, "Yeah, Rich and I did a movie. It was Ghosts, Ghosts of Mars." He's like, yeah, yeah, Ghosts of Mars, and that was uh, John Carpenter. Yeah, it was a John Carpenter. Yeah. Fucking yeah. ice cube, yeah. yeah. Natasha yeah. Uh, has Hentridge. There it is. Yeah. I said, yeah. Was yeah. it? Wasn't she from Species? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. Movie. I remember that. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that movie. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, yeah. when I was a young man, what, what can I say? <laughs> but it was still, it's still a good fucking movie. What can I say? Yeah. You know, with all the nudity, of course. <laughs> but um, I know they made like Species Two. Maybe a, did they make a third? They made a third one, they unfortunately. Did. Yeah. Yeah. Did. yeah. Do you did. remember a movie called Splice? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's uh, good uh, God. No. <laughs> they, God. Yeah, Scott, you were making the exact. Um, yeah, that movie is uh, when, when, when you're talking about genetically like enhanced. Oh, the ending oh. still gives oh. me. <laughs> it crawls all over me a night I, that was an ending i didn't need to see i'm just <laughs> saying it's, it's, so everybody send uh scott some screenshots yeah please <laughs> no, i've seen a, the movie i've seen it i don't need the screenshots. it's a bold <laughs> it's a bold movie when it comes to you know these two scientists who were trying to like splice alien genetics into mm-hmm. human genetics and it's like uh you uh, know no Mm-mm. and then it gets a little fucking like a little, a little, a little, yeah. a little, a little. I was trying to, I was trying to, I was trying to, you know, put a little uh, 
air mattress out there for the people. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, no, it's 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 very it gets very awkward. <laughs> it's, um, yeah. I'll say I know I know Zach left, but that doesn't mean that everyone needs to stop donating to yeah, uh, yeah. FSP. Yes. yeah people still are people still I, are. I know that they slow, they slowed down a little bit. I'm just yeah. gonna, just a little bit of shame here. Um, <laughs> but we didn't get a milestone though. Um, and uh, I think Amanda can can give an update on that. She's got yeah, the, she's yeah. doing all yeah, the math the and the currency conversions and. Currently, we sit at one thousand. Five hundred ten dollars right. and twelve nice. cents. Awesome, there it is. Nice. And that there math is. might be a little iffy, but I rounded down when in doubt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I appreciate you guys. You know, donate to the super chat, and like, like I said at the beginning of the uh, the stream, like, yeah, you know, sadly with YouTube super chat and everything, it's going to be locked in YouTube limbo till the twenty first of next month. But like I said. Whatever the super chat is on here, I'll take a screenshot and then I'll take a screenshot of, you know, me donating all of it there. It's all going to go there. Don't worry, you know, and hopefully a little extra too as well. I've done it before. I've done it before on here where it's like you have, you just have to wait because fucking YouTube, you know, you can't just like get it right away, sadly. Yeah. You know, that was one of the things, like I said, when I, when I got home, I was like, oh, fuck, <laughs> that's not good. Um I say we we we're over the the 1000 goal on the on the tiltify but look uh, at that 750 here. on that um right? but um but the goal the, the goal specifically for this one so this plus super chat is more than the goal but oh. if everyone wants to hit up that top link in the um in the yeah. description um and that's the money that goes straight to afs right to it. this yeah. is what that goes that straight goes straight youtube to it. doesn't get their cut or anything like that you saw yeah, that. yeah. And that's the bad part it's like youtube might get like a little bit of a cut from whatever the heck but you know, I'll try to make up the difference as much as possible. So, so. but yeah, anyway, so people hit up the uh, let's see if we can get that the, the tiltify over the um over the goal and in um in addition to the, the super chat. Hey Dave, let, awesome. me, awesome let me know so far. Dave, let huh? me know what that what that difference is. I'll see if I can yeah. help out with that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, like, yeah, the last time I think the last time I did it, I was like, All right, I'm gonna kick in whatever the difference was, and yeah, we'll make mm -hmm. sure we'll make sure it's all in there, guys. But you know, we appreciate yeah, it. It takes like thirty percent on those things. Something, yeah. I, but it, when it comes to super chat, is, is it also with the donations too, or is it just ad revenue? I don't know. I like it's ad I, revenue, it just goes straight to you. Yeah. Well, the ad revenue they take a significant you know, oh, yeah. percentage, but when it comes to the actual donations, I'm, I'm not sure what the super percentage chat takes. Uh, it's like 70 or 75 percent or something. Like that. Well, we we get the 75 percent, right? Yeah, they, yeah. they think it's like 25 a quarter yeah. or something. Okay. Yeah, okay, we'll make up the difference. Don't worry, we'll make guys. up the we'll like I said, yeah. reach out to me, Dave, and yeah. I'll, I'll help out. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate that. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely get it in there, and it'll be a, a good Christmas. It's all for uh, you know, good stuff, but um. Yeah, I mean, hopefully we can do that again. I mean, it seems like Snyder is like he's making the rounds. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what you guys what you guys feel about you know all the Joker talk today and what he talked about and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, Andrew, please. I see you're yes. like, mm -hmm. yes, please. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it sounds like the, um, that, it sounds like a flashback scene is what I heard. I mean, that that's out there. I mean, uh, but see, uh, I but isn't that what he, think, isn't that what he was saying to you? One of the things I got verified, which yeah, I was like, yeah. thank you, because I had somebody in my mentions arguing me today. <laughs> was like, he's like, oh, no, they, they, they shot that. They shot that in 2016. And I'm like, no, they did no. not. And then and then it was, she was like, it was, yeah, was she. Um, and then he was like, oh, yeah, he posted this. He posted that because apparently, you know, a little obsession with the Jared Leto ah, social media. And I was like, no, but not. And, and I almost I almost. Um, hit her up back and go like, well, I guess we'll find out later, you know, cause I knew I was, I was like going to fit that in somewhere because I know I, I got hit up as soon as I knew Jared Leto was coming back for the additional shoots. I knew there was going to be some people out there that are going to be like, you told me that they weren't, he wasn't in there. And I'm like, he wasn't not back then. He was not. That's why I threw the question in there. I was like, was he part of the principal photography or whatever? And he said, no. And I was like, yes, I had a feeling. I'm like, that was an idea you were sitting on for almost four fucking years. I knew it. I'm like, thank God. And I'm like, I even told people that in like Film Chucky Live. I'm like, you, you guys got to realize Snyder's been sitting on stuff for about three and a half, four years that he's like, 
just thinking about and the Joker in the nightmare sequence and whatever the fuck he has for that. That's one of the things. And it's going to be fantastic when we see it. Yeah. yeah. Huh. I think it's cool that Jared Leto is going to be the definitive movie Joker. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's the only, he's the only guy who's played the Joker multiple times. That's yeah. the crazy thing about that's it. It's the thing that like yeah. they, that doesn't get talked about. And I, I feel like it's a bummer is even if you don't really dig what he did, like, him going so far into that role makes it possible for future actors to get so weird in, in yeah. a way that is just, if you're not as weird as Leto, then people will kind well, of dismiss it and say, sure. You almost Andrew think, like, was on the Suicide the Squid uh, set, by the way. Mm, so he got oh, to see some of that movie getting made. Nice. I don't want, yeah. No, but well, like to your point, I mean, look at what Joaquin Phoenix did. He was like, okay, yeah. I gotta like dive into this role and make it something. Does, does he have right? a tattoo that says damaged? Okay, cool. No. And I'll see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's like, like Joaquin Phoenix was like, all right, I'm gonna starve myself and I'm gonna do like this whole different take. I gotta like go even further, you know? Yeah. I, like anybody who takes the role on just really has to fucking transform themselves and really just. Mm -hmm. In well, golf now. or do something that's different that's still a part of the character right like yeah. the, it's the same thing that affleck did where you're supposed to be grizzled you know batman was never grizzled like christian bale is a lot of things he's not grizzled no nope. um and the same way that joker is like the some of the best comics i've read of the last 20 years joker mm -hmm. is disgusting <laughs> like he makes your skin crawl being in the room with him he's not mm -hmm. funny he's not cool he's just yeah. gross and like the, I, I remember sitting in the theater, and uh, it was the first time that he came from behind Ike Barinholtz, and was just mm -hmm. circling him like he was some mm -hmm. kind of snake, like making a mm -hmm. rumble. That I thought, like, oh, I actually don't want a Joker. That's like the conversation. Yeah, that's that's horrifying. Little... But whatever but that's the hell the point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but right. he, yeah, and and it's funny too because like. With like coworkers that I was like, um, you know, whatever job I had at the time, I remember one coworker was all, "Oh no, I loved it because that was the Joker we'd never seen. That was mm -hmm. the gangster Joker, you know. We never saw that gangster Joker really, where it was like, he was like leading, like you know, look at look at how he dressed, look at how he mm -hmm. did. I mean, I don't care about all all the noises and stuff that he make. That was like unique to the character. I'm like, okay, you get it, <laughs> you get yeah. it, you know." I, I wasn't a fan because it's not because of his. All right, I'm kicking you out. <laughs> then the <like> <laughs> <Good night. laughs> Well, the thing is that I you don't I, like Tenet. You don't yeah. like it. Well, bye bye. Bye bye. But oh, anyway, <laughs> Zach saw it. Yeah, Zach but, uh, liked it. So. Yeah, he liked the and Packers that's why too. You couldn't so. ask your question. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Thank you, Ben. But uh, no, I I never said that it was a bad inter uh, take on the Joker. I just didn't get enough for me to say, "Oh my God, that was amazing." Yeah, that's that's bad that's oh, yeah. that was my argument. Oh, that's always been my argument. I never said that it's been that it was bad. I just didn't get enough. enough. And that's that's all it is. And um, hopefully, we we'll get to see more of that because I, it feels like he's planting the seed for more stuff mm -hmm. to come mm -hmm. out. Because he says something very interesting there, and I need to rewatch this whole thing again because he says something that sort of that he was planting the seed. That was one of the questions I was gonna have that he's mm -hmm. sort of planting the seeds for more stuff to come out yeah. or for this uh, to for them to expand on this universe. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, yeah. that's I'd, one of them. I don't know. I, you just like brought that back in my in my memory, Steve. That, like that, I had gone to that set visit and was seeing like a different movie being made than came out, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just the stuff that they were talking about with um, with Joker. Like um, we were talking with the costume designer, and she was saying that they had gone through dozens of designer shoes because Joker has the best stuff. And yeah. then he and David Ayer saw a photo of a a Southeast Asian like freedom fighter standing on a pile of corpses. This was like a real uh, civil war that had happened and he was mm. barefoot. Mm. And that was, it like struck such a disgusting chord that Joker doesn't wear shoes in the movie. Like he's walking around barefoot, but the movie, at the same theaters, they don't even, I don't even think you'd know that. I think I, I think I can get David Ayer on this thing now. Yeah. I'm confident. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, got yeah. Snyder, I got Snyder. I can get David Ayer yeah. now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you never know. You never know. I mean, you know, one of the things like I, I, that I keep hearing, you know, in the background is like the air cut is a no brainer. It's inevitable. It's whatever. Yeah. I mean, I mean, one of the things I kept hearing was like, you know, one of the things about the, the reshoots was like, oh, 
some of that could be used even for air. And then today people were saying like, oh yeah, if they, if they shot whatever, you know, sequence where the Joker killed the Dick Grayson Robin, that could be utilized for Ben Affleck's Batman. And I'm mm -hmm. like, well, that's not what I heard. I heard it for, it could be utilized for air, but I'm totally open for that because it sure. makes sense. And, you know, I mean, who knows, like, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Like I don't, you know, the stuff that I heard was like kind of like a hearsay thing, but you know, I was kind of like, you know, I'm confident in where I heard it from when I, when I hear that, that kind of stuff. And you know, that's why I've just, I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to put it out there. Mm -hmm. Of course I, you know, I, Exclusive I wasn't one of those. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't put uh exclusive. <laughs> but, you know, oh, I the totally look on his face when I you first did that, I know <laughs> he was oh, so I caught off to. guard by that. He was just like, he was like, what? Well, it's a, but it is a fucking hard fact. It, it is. He yeah, he caught off guard. Yeah, he, he, he dug. He dug. The, he dug the Snyder drops. It was mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, I had. I had a. Oh, I had no, a yeah, I yeah, but that first one, I was laughing my ass off. Yeah. Was just like, <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, speaking no, the of funny, Snyder, the oh. funniest part was me in the DMs, like literally quoting every drop that Dave has because I've watched them enough <laughs> times <laughs> that it's like I have them ingrained in my memory. Yeah. It's like I don't think there's a drop I don't know, Dave. It's a little. You should play the Ben Shapiro one. I no, I did, I did that one too. I did that one too. I did the whole. I, I can't, I'm excited for Zack Snyder's Justice League because Joss yeah. Whedon sucks. Yeah, I know. I was tempted. I was tempted. I'm like, should I play it? <laughs> and also, I'm excited to watch the Snyder Cut because Joss Whedon sucks. <laughs> I was like, how would he feel? How would he feel about that? And we could see his face. Yeah, yeah, no, I think we have that poker face, like. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, after he's like, yeah, we're not going to do Fountainhead yeah. right now. <laughs> right now, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The right time to make Fountainhead. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah probably don't do that. Yeah. Don't drop that clip. I know. <laughs> I was, was like, I was, I was hesitant. I was hesitant. But with Justin, yeah. when he said seven hundred page script, I was like, okay, seven hundred pages, page per minute, seven hundred <laughs> minutes. Like I'm, yes. I'm starting to like break down mm -hmm. the time, going yeah. yes. how many episodes is that? Episodes. If, yeah. Oh, yeah. well, it's, it's, it's a series. I mean, yeah, a long time ago I heard that. Yeah. Go ahead, Dave. No, no, a long time ago I was like, yeah, when he posted something on Vero where you saw like these uh stacks that look like scripts, it said part four, part five, or something like that. Yeah. When I sent it over to my original source to him, he was just like, Oh, by the way, those parts are fountainhead. And I was like, oh. What? Oh, holy shit! Okay, really? if they're one, if they're one hour long episodes, we're talking twelve episodes. Fuck I yeah! That. I mean, that's the oh, thing. Oh, that's a nice that's season. The thing. Yeah, yeah. So that's, a, that's 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 a net. I mean, that's Netflix. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. H. I mean, you would hope it would be on HBO Max, but I you mean, would hope. But I'm saying, but I'm saying, Netflix <gasps> tends to go for the thirteen yeah. episodes. Yeah. Net. Yeah. Uh, HBO tends to go more like the like nine. Eight. The yeah. eight to ten eight, episodes, but oh, still, okay. you've got that British what what I always call the British model, the thirteen epi the twelve thirteen episode season. Yeah. Mm. Oh, but everything should be. Well, I, mean, yeah. I think the bigger thing of it is that uh, he, you know he said the seven hundred pages, and then I asked him about any iconic images, and he he literally said all of it. And there's a a little over 700 pages in the book. So he's basically storyboarded the entire book. Mm -hmm. essentially. Mm -hmm. So he's not omitting anything. He's not leaving anything out. And he shouldn't. And he shouldn't. That's the thing. That's what, that's what we love about the guy is like, mm -hmm. you know, when he, when he jokes about how they try to mandate him with like, you know, Oh yeah. You gotta, <laughs> two hours. Like, what the fuck? It's like, what the fuck? I mean, and, and I, I even think I try to sneak it in there when he was talking about, it. I'm like, there's no way you could do that. You're meant for a streaming series. You know, when we were talking about, I think when I brought up the fact that, you know, Justice League is now going to be a four part series. I'm like, you're meant for that. You're not meant to be constricted to a fucking movie runtime anymore. This world oh, never by the way, you with stuff about six parts labeled like a like a Tarantino movie yeah. with an epilogue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and All I'm right. like, whoa, whoa, wait, but, what, but we're getting four episodes. Like, how do so? How do you translate that? So, like, is the movie because he's going to have a movie version too? So, is the movie version going to be structured in six parts now? Still, I'm really curious. Yeah, I know. I know. And, yeah, and he talked about the IMAX release, and I'm saying, oh, yes. oh yes. 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 I was like, yeah, about that. Oh. Yeah, because he he yeah. said it straight out, it will come out in IMAX. Yeah. Yep. Well, he's formatting it. Yeah. 
the 166, right? Or 133? 133. 133. Yeah. 133. Yeah. Or what? I thought it was 166. I don't know. There's no, a whole the, weird the, the working yeah. title of the, yes. of the reshoots is 166, 166. but the, the format of all the image, like the, the image that Ray posted today was another 1.33. Oh, um, interesting. But I wouldn't be shocked if, if HBO Max does something. I don't. I don't know. I'm curious to see if they give like an aspect ratio switching option or, or, or what, just because of, I don't know. I'm really curious to see how they do that. Sure. Yeah. I remember Shiraz actually asked him on Vero and he said 1.66. So that's why I'm all confused. Yeah. It's like <laughs> he gave, earlier on, he was saying 1.66, but then after he started working on it, ever since Justice Con, he said 1.33. Oh, and he oh. Oh. And after Justice the first Con, drop, I asked is, that what, him, is that what you're saying? Justice Con? Yeah. 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 That's that's the that that is my favorite. On um, on Vero, I said, "Is this the that and the bombshell statues in my uh, in my basement?" Right? That, yes. That's, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Just making sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. So, what, oh, what was Steven that. talking about? <laughs> oh no, I was just saying after the first trailer dropped, I oh, said okay. the aspect ratio that it, the movie is going to be in, and he said, "Yeah," and that was the one dot three three trailer. Okay. Oh, that was the okay. ten minutes of our breakdown that I deleted. I think. Yeah, <laughs> twenty minutes of me talking about the aspect ratio. Yeah. And that, and looking that. at, I meant to say that looking at the waveforms of that podcast, you could see the point at which I was like, "This needs to end," and yeah. it just continued to be you and me, like, "Uh huh." Go ahead, yeah. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Tim, Tim does that. He actually taught me the trick of how to make sure that we're talking like evenly in an episode, mm -hmm. and when. And when someone doesn't, I, and I remember going, but I don't bother with that because it's never a problem with the two of us. We're really good yeah. about that. But yeah. Andrew, how is it working with Steven? I'm very curious yeah. about that. that. Uh, are you well, familiar with the nightmare? Hey, hey, first, Andrew, hey, I am familiar first. with the nightmare sequence. Please expound <laughs> upon that topic. But well, now, well, now I can tell why Andrew sounds so good in the podcast. Well, I mean, too like, early. Snyder congratulated you about like your setup. He was like, "Who's all that acoustic oh, tiles?" Appreciate. Yeah, I don't know if that was tile. a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> he, he complimented <laughs> your setup there. Yes, right, so. he did. Cheers, yeah. cheers. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I don't have any. In case y'all don't know, Dice is gonna be a daddy real soon. Oh, I thought he was already, oh, yeah. he was already a daddy. Is he, is thank the baby you. not here yet? No, eight months we're at. Oh, oh, congratulations. Okay. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank Dad. you very much. Thank you. Wow. Any idea how that happened? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scott can tell you. Uh, three times over, I can tell you, especially with the three and a half month old I have right now. <laughs> oh yeah, wow. wait! I actually have my baby right here. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 Andrew, you don't understand. I was so ready to talk to Snyder when I didn't have a baby in my hand because when I was in the real emotion, when I was with the real emotion guys on their live stream, it's so funny. Hey. I had a one month old in yeah. my arms the entire time. Oh, he's made it. He's yeah, yeah. The little ones made a, an appearance on the vodka stream. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the funny part the is, is that okay. I think Ohio Dave was the one where someone brought like uh, w when we talked about like our reactions, like when Snyder like bounced at the end of the real emotion and like we all like freaked out. Someone commented, oh, my God, I was so afraid Scott was going to wake the baby. I think Ohio Dave went, I thought I heard something during the interview. <laughs> he would say that. Well, if you look closely, you'll see Scott take some of the vodka or bourbon. And just kind of like, just like make sure that baby stays no, a little bit no. sedated. Oh, no, no. <laughs> what you'll see, what you'll see is me doing this the whole time. Yeah. You'll see the settle yeah. bouncing <laughs> the entire 45 bit, minutes, right? like stay quiet. Good job on that, by the way. That's that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I was I was gonna wonder, you know, when uh Zach was saying that uh, originally he was gonna split into part one, part two. So he had that four hours, and so when they were gonna do Jo on part one and part two in theatrical, that's essentially his four part. Put it in theatrical, right? Is that how it? I I heard it. Well, it okay. Guy. No, I so, think he was gonna make it Justice League one and one point five, and then <laughs> I think that's what that was gonna be. Yeah, because there was not. Well, they greenlit Justice League one and two, but there was never a Justice League two script written. So when they say enough shot for two movies, they're talking about the Justice League one script mm -hmm. was right. long so enough long. to split up to into be two Justice movies. League one, right? That's what I meant. Two. Like his his four 
hour movie was supposed to come up, but because it's only a two hour restriction, he was going to split up that four hour movie. Yeah, I mean, the, the rumor well, that would have that would have worked. Secretly. The whole that thing that would have worked, like if he would have put out the two hour, uh, the, the, those first two hours, and then set it up with a cliffhanger, I would have yeah. gone back to the movies. Well, it, it wouldn't watched. have been any yeah. different than like when Robert Zemeckis oh, yeah, shot yeah. Back to the Future Part Two and Part and Three. Part three. Yeah. Yes, like like back God. to back, and they released within there. months of each other. Do you remember other. that? Do you remember you seeing that after, that preview, right? the little teaser at the end of Back to the Future, the future Part Two? Yes, what? What? Mm-hmm. You're like, holy shit. Anyway, they basically had a trailer yeah, at the right. end of part yes. two. Mm-hmm. It was so great. I remember being excited because I you know it's one it's my favorite trilogy. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. You know. It's <laughs> it's a, no, it's but it's a, no it I I'm 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 there with you today. I'm also yeah. a weirdo who saw part three before we saw part two. So it's what? Like- <laughs> oh my god! Part two, part two. I mean, in that part franchise, two, it kind of works, though. I mean, that <laughs> might be kind of work, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but like, I'm still waiting for my hoverboard. I mean, like, we're past twenty yeah. five years, guys. Jesus, I need, right. I, need, I, I need my self lacing shoes. Oh, I'm sorry. Those, are, are, those, those, those exist. exist. Old guy crying. <laughs> Your jacket is now dry. And I'm like, what the I, fuck? I want that jacket. Well, I did get a couple <laughs> World Series victories, so, you know. <laughs> That's true. That's very That's true. true. That is true. That is true. <laughs> and, and, and it predicted, like, you know, you know, a, a uh, you know, Biff Tannen being, like, this rich, you know, crazy asshole who looks a little like Trump. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? That's weird. You know, a lot of people were like, put that little uh, comparison, too. So, yep. You know, the fucking hair, the comb over. Thing, <laughs> so we're headed know? into three now is what you're saying? Yeah. Well, I know. We're going to go back in time. Let's go back to the Wild West, guys. Let's Are just... you Marty McFly? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel I don't how impressive was that guy. Yeah. I have something for you. A letter. Oh, just like, whoa, dude. You like you don't need to be so aggressive when you're pulling out a letter out of your trench coat, dude. It's like we were it's- told to deliver it at this specific time, <laughs> at this specific place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, um, Dave, real quick question. Yeah. As the official um it's official now. Uh-oh. I mean, I literally had I put like rep vodka stream to be like more official <laughs> last minute email. Anyway, um, so my question is, would you like me to like read? Would you like to read off names for donations or would you like to tweet those out or send or like read those off in another stream? Yeah, uh, I'll I'll do a Sunday morning hangover stream, and I'll that's when I'll do it. I'll I'll send me over the name. Man, and I'm gonna talk. Absolutely. All the donators. Yeah, I'll talk about them then. We'll do it then. Thank you. You're yeah. awesome. Awesome. Thank you. We're at yeah, eight right. fifty on Tiltify now. By the way, so we can aim there. there. Yeah. Oh, uh, what it's all about? Fifty more, and we hit that goal. Yes. Fuck. You guys are awesome. Right. And on donating. We're we're still talking here. You know? Another yeah, exclusive. total. We're at one. <laughs> I know. We always go to the future. Get us to that one thousand. Exactly. Goal we we'll... won't. <laughs> we aren't stopping. Talk. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll get. <laughs> we're the Jerry Lewis telethon of twenty twenty. What can I say? Stop <laughs> 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 the word telethon, Dave. You basically have a telethon format. Now. I know. Apparently. <laughs> apparently. Yeah. No. Yeah, man, I mean, and, uh, this works perfectly. It's, it's true. Right. I he asked me like yesterday, oh, yeah. and I was like, "Wait, am I Vanna White? <laughs> yeah, yes. Vanna White? Yes. Am I Vanna White?" I'm like, "Yes." <laughs> does that, does that make, does that make <laughs> Meg uh, Dean Martin? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. She does have that silky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> silky <boy. laughs> it's like that. It's like that great meme that goes, "This is my first drink of the day." With my left hand. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, 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 yeah. There it is. That was cool. You plugged in those Patreon videos, though. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And and, and like I said, there was like, I had like, it was funny, too, because like, even like to like fucking an hour ago, somebody sent me a video. I'm like, sorry, I didn't get. I didn't get. I, you know, the first two that those were like, okay, I'm going to get those two guys. And that was it, you know. Because sadly, I couldn't get them all. But I posted on my Patreon. I was like, hey, you know, especially for the, the the higher tier guys, I was like, hey, 
if you had a question to ask Zack Snyder, what would it be? Try not to be obvious. <laughs> I, you know, I was like, try not. To, it was it was funny too because I at, you know when I when I talked to Zach on the phone, you know, it, we didn't go over specifics. <laughs> That's the thing. We didn't go over certain specifics. I didn't ask them, how long do you have or can I promote it? Yeah. And it was funny when I got asked by some of you guys, I think, Stephen, you asked, how, how long is he like going to be? I was like, you know what? I don't know. We didn't talk about that. We talked about, <laughs> we talked about what was happening on Tuesday and we talked about other stupid shit, you know, and just laughed about, you know, because yeah. that's the way Zack Snyder is. And, and I love that about him because it was like such an easy conversation. And we, we uh, just laughed over the phone. Mm -hmm. So then when I hit him up um, and I was like, how long you have? And he said first an hour. And of course he lasted for an hour and a half, which I'm grateful for that. Thank you know, he's so awesome with that. That he think about what his scheduling looks like. Exactly. Yeah, there's for the he's next probably week. exhausted, he's grueling. You know, he's dealing with two movies. He's probably yeah. exhausted, and he's got kids. You know, and, and from what we understand, they're 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 remote learning at home. Like yeah. that ain't that ain't no joke. Yes, no. The teacher, believe me, I know. Yes, <laughs> I got exactly. two of them at home. Our child oh, uh, was learning the alphabet with Scrabble tiles earlier. That was, Thank uh, you to my mother-in-law. People forget Bananagrams, that a lot, technically. That <laughs> they've got like seven kids, oh, many of which oh, are like God. still super young, and right. um, and I, I, there's a phenomenal New York Times interview um, from years ago with with both Zach and Debbie, um, and they were like, "What do you do with your free time?" And he was like, "Oh, you know, he listed some. He's like, no, we try to keep active and." Um, you know, go to a lot of basketball games, and they were like, "Oh, you are you a Lakers fan?" He was like, "No, kids games." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think he, um, they like someone. I think it was the same interview, or maybe a different one. I don't know. But at some some point, someone said, "Like, what do you guys like to do together when you're just at home relaxing?" And I yeah. think they said Debbie said that she likes Zach to read her books. And I was like, that, yes, yeah. I can imagine that being the most relaxing, zen, like, with, but also with a thousand children screaming in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Before I try to read you but anything, also, you grab like, it, so you, you're like, let me, let me read it. Yeah, yeah. Steven, <laughs> are you reading Amanda well, books? <laughs> Steven, you know Scott does. Yes, Scott reads yes, books for me. Scott. Yes, I do read books for Amanda with sound effects. <laughs> And everything. <laughs> I read other things too that Meg knows about that is not fit for work. What? <laughs> what? 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 He Amanda's <laughs> heard this too, by the way. Yeah, uh, like I read don't recipes. Even know. Like I do read, read recipes. recipes. Yes, Where's I do. We do. Okay. Macaroni in a pot. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 Scott, Scott, I will say this. My mom, like, says you're her favorite when it comes to, oh, like, no, 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 no. Mom, like, she, she, she commends you every time. She goes, I love Scott. She always talks about you. I'm just saying. And I'm like, hey, mom, you know, born in Alabama, where I was born. There it is. You know, but it, like, she loves, she, yeah, she always commends you. Give, like, give your Why mom. You have been like him, David. I know. Right? <laughs> that's, that's what Dave, it is. I'm just saying this. The next time you you have lunch with exactly lunch or breakfast like, with your mama, oh. give her a hug from me. Please. I will. I will. I will. Mm. No, she loves you, wow. man. Like when it comes to like mama everybody. Sorry, sorry, everybody else. You know, Matt. I know you're really, you know, trying to, you know, get to like, you know, my mom's good side, but sadly, <laughs> my Colbert's mom's good right. side. She loves us. <laughs> <laughs> Potty mouth. My mom. My mom sent me a film, uh, uh, a comic movie marks video once. And oh, really? about the Snyder Cut. And she's like, hey, they referenced you in this video. This is actually a really good breakdown, but I wish they wouldn't swear so much. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 she, it, it's oh like, yeah. My mom has said that about Garza. She goes, Garza cusses way too much. I'm like, he's more than you. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> hey, hey, Dave. You know, I hate, I hate I hate funny, you funny thing is like, my whenever we do the, the same thing about you. I'm just oh, like, I know. See, yeah. I was yeah. just like, I was actually yeah. watching you on the TV. Like, I had the YouTube app on my Apple TV up. And I was just watching you. Oh, yeah. And, and, and my wife was like, 
who's that? I was like, oh, that's Dave. I've told you about Dave. He cusses a little too much. <laughs> I um, thought the same thing. <laughs> Dave, Dave should. You know, um, Dave, Dave's always... got to try to do a mom stream one day now. Oh, no, right? <laughs> Bring on all the moms. What, what's hey. funny is release when the I, mom when, stream. <laughs> when I, you know, funny story. When I started uploading the, can I be the Vanna White podcast, for that one? Yes. What were you going to talk? When I started uploading the podcast, I asked Stephen for some advice. Like, good luck with uh, with this guy cussing up a storm in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my mom is like so much more than you. And I'm like, yeah. I, oh no, no. Remember, shout out, shout out to Justin. He was very, he was very nice during the interview. But I did have a text with the network guys going. Okay, who has a bleep sound effect? I need it for the coaching, <laughs> right? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did you drop some? Did you drop some cuss words in your? Yeah, I haven't listened to it yet. I need to. Uh, yeah. there, there, there's a couple of uh, Scott in his as he learns to produce differently every time he actually has to produce the <laughs> show. Because shout out to Tim. Tim has produced has produced a show almost exclusively for five years. That's what Damn. Tim has done for this show. Because I. When I when I was on your guys, I was like, I gotta bite my tongue, and we even made a joke about it too. We made a joke about it. You're like, oh, this is a clean show. I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm holding back the f bombs, man. You know, but it, I I, yeah, I thought I did good. I thought I did good. Mm -hmm. you, know? you did very I don't think good. I anything. You didn't believe anything, but yep. uh, I, but shout I mean, out to Justin. He was very nice because at one point we did re-record one part of it, but it was fun <laughs> for me producing because I was like, okay, Audacity, how do I bleep this out? Because I don't want to <laughs> lose this comment. But yeah, gotta... Nobody told me I couldn't swear. You're going to tell me that up front, bro. <laughs> I, <laughs> uh, come on, man. You got to read the room. You got to read that room. I was like, I know these guys don't swear because I, I listened. I was like, I listened to their, I listened to their podcast before. I'm like, they don't swear. And then and then it was brought up during it, like Scott brought it up, and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm holding back my fucking f bombs here, <laughs> you know. At the risk of somebody from my school, county board, whatever, somehow listening to this, which will never <laughs> happen. So. You and you and me both, man. You and me both. Okay. <laughs> I'm the kind of teacher who will swear in class just to fuck with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've had a teacher call me a shithead at one time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, a, that's a real well, thing. Wow. If they do that, yeah. That's I, how bad I was. Yeah, that's how bad shocking. I was. So yeah. me, oh, I'm, so me, so I'm not supposed to swear. That's what I'm most likely to swear. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I almost laughed in her face when she called me that. I was like, what the hell? You just called oh. me a shithead. Holy <laughs> crap. I could totally just like you must end so your proud. Career. I, 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 I it was a badge of honor. Like when she said that, she was like, I'm going to call your parents. Tell how much of a shithead you are. I was like, Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I want to raise my hand. I have a story to top that. Oh, do it. <laughs> it's Tell not. Her. It's not. But um, in second grade. So oh, what are you? That. Six, seven in second grade? Something like that. Sounds um, right. our teacher was we seven because my oldest is in second grade right now. There yeah. you go. So I was seven. Mm -hmm. Um, my teacher was in her last year of teaching. Um, she was quite old and at one point when the class wouldn't quiet down she she called us all bitches <laughs> did, you, did you say all right you little bitches yeah she was <laughs> like all right you little bitches <laughs> Why well, no, i'm not even kidding you <laughs> I, can't, I, mean, I, can't, so I commend, and then I she walked teachers, out of man. quietly just walked out of the classroom <laughs> no i mean i commend Never teachers for back. dealing with that i mean you guys she that are teachers what's my name amanda <laughs> No, but I commend teachers. I mean, like my brother's a teacher. I mean, he teaches high school math and I'm like, how do you do it? And like, he goes, yeah, you just got to do it. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's rough. And I, and I get it. I mean, like I said, I was called a shithead and I was like, I was a shithead, even though like, you know, <laughs> this was a teacher that just fucking, you know, ugh, man, I had her for way too many times and it was just, you know, and I made fun of how, yeah. Anyways, let's not go into that. But you know, she called me a shithead for a reason. It was, it was, it was. I was a shithead. I, I, I actually commend that. But look at me now. <laughs> Still a shithead. <laughs> <laughs> look at me now. Yeah. Still a shithead. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good thing, but hey, look at me now. <laughs> oh man oh uh, that's funny uh, so, um anyways do we have anything else what do we have anything else before we wrap this up uh, i don't know we're coming up on three hours I'm yeah saying. we're coming up on three okay. hours 
<laughs> no, Matt, go ahead, Matt. Matt no, I didn't no, mean to Matt's do that. It's going to get dragged oh. out because Colbert's going to go nuts if I start talking about this and it's going to get dragged out way oh. too long. No, 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 oh. no, no, no. I can muzzle him. Wait. <laughs> By the way, Matt, no. I've been one A. Everybody got that? <laughs> yeah, we're... I will slap him for a hundred dollars now. Yes, it's a parody. <laughs> it's 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 you have to give him the, the three top hours. Five. Hey, Lincoln some some of the memes that that they made with like the Batman <laughs> slapping Robin. Oh my, oh god. my god, that was hilarious. Wait, I gotta spaces? tweet that, don't I? Oh, Meg, help beautiful. me tweet that. Meg, <laughs> I'm, I'll retweet you. I'm not gonna tweet that out. <laughs> Oh man, that was great. But uh all right, yeah, we can wrap this up right now. You know what, guys? You know, I appreciate this. This was, you know, this was a uh, a crazy crazy night. Definitely a crazy night. It was a defining moment. It was a long time coming, like a lot of people say. I was like, you know, I've always wanted to get Snyder on this thing and just have a one-on-one -on -one with him. Yeah. We did. Hopefully I can do it again because like I said, I got a ton more to fucking ask him. <laughs> Jesus 40 Christ. more times. He said 40 more times. I know. He yeah. said that. You know, and I, I yeah, 40 more times. <laughs> you know, that that magic number, I swear. That's Pour a verbal out. contract. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Verbal contract right there. Pour right. on out for your homies. Hey, but, I'm just uh, saying, you know, I, it's DC Film Squadcast. I'm just, just saying, you know, there's there's a whole nother a whole nother audience of podcasting yes, that can be I want <laughs> that's the thing. It's like I want, I mean, hopefully it can get to that 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 point where he shows up on BVS by the minute. Why, if he ho he shows up on Squadcast, he shows up on everything, you know. I mean, yeah. I, that's that's, I, and I think that's the approach that he's trying to take, you know. He wants to really just like get out with the fans, with the fans, yeah. You know, he's always about the fans. He's already showed up on Real Emotion, you know. Comic it, movie works. You know, yes, yeah. Show up on, and, and then of course Justin, <laughs> Justin, Justin needs a one on one too because I mean Justin's all about you know. And his eyes okay. hey, I'm glad you got an answer about about Sucker Punch. Yeah. I was yes. very yeah. happy for that. Much yeah. Justin. This is, Thank this you. Why, yes, Good this is why I was trying to get, incorporate as many diverse voices as possible. I was trying to like do that, and I'm you know, and I apologize that you know some people didn't get to get incorporated with it, you know, and I I really wish that happened, but I know he's still trying to make. He's trying to make it his appearance on all like different stuff. It's not going to be the end of what he's doing, and uh, you know, he, you know, that's just the kind of guy he is. What other director does that, really? No, nobody. You know, no. nobody no. does that. Honestly, honestly no, I, I don't that. know if I want a one-on-one -on -one with him. And the reason I say that is, after all right, you're anti Snyder. Fuck you. I've been so pro Snyder. It's very clear to me. The conversation I want to have with him, I could never have with him publicly. Because yeah. he will not talk about those things publicly. It's very clear that he doesn't want to uh, say anything controversial in today's current climate. I get so, it. I, I get it. I don't blame him. So I'm satisfied. I ask questions that nobody else asked. We got answers to them. I'm happy. Yeah. That's what it was all about. you know. Hey, wait. Can I officially force you to come on Sucker Punch by the Women? Yeah, I'll, I'll come on. All right. I mean, it's called Sucker oh, Punch by the Women, but you don't even know. Like, I was gonna bring that. You know, that was one of the things I wrote down tonight, Justin. I wanted to bring up Sucker Punch, and like, I was like, you know what? I've watched Sucker Punch, like, you know, about you know, seventeen times. And on the seventeenth time, when I watched it with Justin, I didn't realize how much fucking you know penises were all over the place. Okay. You know, the Chris, Chris Wong here <laughs> asked one of my questions, so I'm just glad yeah. the question got asked. That's all I've got to say. Yes. I'm all there's so much penis, Im you know, imagery in Sucker Punch. I wanted to bring that up, but I, you know, I didn't, I couldn't fit it. Well, you couldn't fit it in. Couldn't fit it in, Dave. <laughs> That is the sexiest thing I have ever seen. <laughs> I had to put that in there. there you go. know what you got to get? You got to get for that it one. He says he makes it. sexy men. Wait, wait, what were you going to say, Matt? What were you well, say you got to switch it out. You got to switch that one out for uh, Bad Santa when uh, Bernie Mac sits there and he's talking about it. He's like, he's a sexual being. Just put that one when he's talking about <laughs> that Ooh, one. There it is. Well, yeah. I know video Every right week now, you man is a sexual the, uh, being. <laughs> you got to work in it. His, uh, too bad you didn't get him full screen saying, uh, saying I make movies with sexy men. <laughs> I know, yeah. We, we, oh. we went down that route. We went down that route. I was like, yeah, there it is. Yeah. That's hey. definitely going to be our intro. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Uh, but, uh, anyways, guys, I appreciate your guys' uh, assistance tonight. You know, Meg, Amanda, thank you for uh, 
you know, doing the social yeah. media and keeping the tally. And then of course, everybody else that came on and, um, you know, asked the questions, you know, I, like I said, hopefully this is not the last time that we can actually do something not that, like, you know, yeah, it's definitely not going to be the last time. That's we know that. Time. We, we, yeah, it's <laughs> not going to be the last time. Yeah. And, you know, we try to coordinate, but, uh, Megan, Amanda, you guys were, uh, the all-stars tonight, you know, keeping the tally and Meg, you know, sending me the, uh, the, uh, watching the live chat and everything with the, um, the questions and everything. Really appreciate that. Thank you guys. Anytime. It's really a fucking fun night. I mean, I was nervous as shit right up to when he, like when I saw him show up, I was like, Oh shit. But then when he showed up, it was just like easy go lucky. You know, you know, he's just such an easy guy to talk to. Yeah. And anybody else that's going to end up uh, talking to him in the re you know, in the, in the future, and hopefully me as well as everybody else. It's it, it. Don't be nervous. The guy is very easy to talk to. You know, mm -hmm. he's just do like we, one of us. He definitely is one of us. And hopefully, it goes up on everybody else's uh, stuff. And I think he will. So let's go around the horn, Scott. You know, you're last because you know <laughs> my mom said that that's that's the good thing. She agreed with the fact that you know you should be last. So uh, go ahead, the cold birds. What's up? Promote yourself. Yeah, I'll let Amanda go first because she's got one last update on the uh, one yeah, last yeah, update yeah, on our fundraising. So with the uh, Tiltify currently sitting, that's the one that goes directly to AFSP. Yeah. That is sitting at eight hundred and eighty dollars right now. Nice. With the super no chat, way. that brings your total to one thousand seven hundred forty-three dollars and seventy-six cents. Oh, yeah. oh, that's good. Yes. Good job. And that's that's up through tomorrow, I think, on the Tiltify. So even uh, if you're you catching the replay. You can set an end date. You can set an okay. yeah, you set yeah, your it end date. End, but it doesn't end. Even if you're watching the replay, check out down in the um in the description and, and hit up the, the Tiltify yeah. page to get us over that thousand dollar mark. Yes. Thank you guys so much. And um thank you for having me, Dave. Um my name's Amanda. You can find me at Pie Sugar Pie on Twitter. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I'm Steven. I'm Amanda's husband. And <laughs> yes, you can find me I got that joke. Yes. <laughs> Love that joke. That's you good. Can find me on uh, Twitter at SM Colbert, as in the um, the description on the image here. I also co host BVS by the Minute with uh, Andrew Dice over there. Um, and we also do Justice League by the Minute with a really long trailer breakdown available now. <laughs> um, and, yes. uh, and you can find me writing occasionally at screenrant.com. All right, Mr. Andrew Dice, what's up? You can find me writing at ScreenRant.com. Uh, you can also find me on the Bachelor podcast, except these bros, where myself and three other male friends of mine, including my brother, talk about The Bachelor. We just did our draft of suitors. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's real. I thought I was joking. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. you that boy. I was totally waiting for the punchline too. too. Like, right. uh, we had our draft. I think I picked the winner, so I'm really. Sad. What's your yeah. What's your Christmas tradition with your wife? Oh, Hallmark Christmas movies. Yeah, you can find my reviews oh, on Twitter. Great. I don't want. Yeah. I don't know if I'll plug that. Also, it's me drinking by myself this year, which is kind of okay. I'll drink with you. Don't worry. Thank you. Um, yeah, and then BVS by the minute, and we are at Meg. What minute are we at? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that only works when Dave does it, I guess. Okay, um, you're at minute seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. I love how Meg's like, wait, I was supposed to be tracking the time. Yeah, I, I was like, what did I miss? <laughs> that was so fun. That was great. I'm your number one. That was fan. great. That was so great. Oh, so she was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that was that was perfect. That was perfect. All right, Meg, go ahead and plug yourself. <laughs> um, you can find me pretty much everywhere at Wonder Meg. Um, you can find me on the League of Mayhem stream every other Tuesday. Yes, we just had Zach too. on the other day, which was amazing. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's, that's about it. That's me. Yeah. All right, Justin. You can find me on my podcast, Welcome to the Midside, wherever podcasts are streaming. You can go to midside.com slash podcast for that. But more importantly, right now, you can buy my book, The Cut. It's a novel. It's based on a true story of what happened behind the scenes of the Justice League production. 
Uh, you can go to the midside.com slash the cut. You can see it there, right there. Oh, you're going to throw that up again. Thank you. Right. Hey, next time you're going to have me on with Zack Snyder and put that up, tell me ahead of time you're going to do that. Oh. oh. You, you, you caught me off like that or what? <laughs> I appreciate it, but I was just like, what? I, I, kind of felt like, I figured you wanted to promote the book. And I, I did. I just didn't expect that. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. No, <laughs> good. good. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. And anyone who wants to buy it, if you go to the midside.com slash cut right down there, you can get pre-orders and then it'll be live. The paperback will be live on Amazon on 11 17. Cool. Chris. And I'm Chris Wong Swenson at Ping Pong Flicks. Um, I do have something with this guy. And you might. <laughs> so there is something coming out this weekend with this guy. And you yeah. can't swear. You can't swear. I can't swear. <laughs> can't swear. Can't swear. <laughs> so, um, and then I may be having something else later on. Hmm. Yeah. What the but, um, yeah. 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 Drop yeah. something, Dave. So, yeah. But I, I, don't, I, I don't know what he's talking about. about. I think he's just talking about, you know, hot dog eating contest. Hot or dog eating contest. Yeah. Yeah. Hot dog. I would watch yeah. the shit out of that. 40 yes. hot dogs. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. You heard it here first, folks. All right, Tim. Uh, I'm Tim Bioko. You can find me on Twitter at Alan Fire, and you can listen to our show, DC Film Squadcast, with this guy right up there. <laughs> we uh, put out weekly shows, pretty much weekly. Um, if we don't do that one, we do sometimes uh, a show called Squadcast Movies, where we review movies that we think are really, really good. So, All right, Mr. Ben. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love I'm Vince, drunk. So I'm hey, how dare you uh, speak of Garza like that? Uh, I'm <laughs> drunk. Oh, oh, by the way, he said that he um that uh, he's sorry that he tried to join in, but I think it, it, we hit the maximum. Uh, how many views P people can be in the chat? It worked. Oh, there is ten. <laughs> no, I think this, no, no. I think this is like a ma a max of ten people that can be on the live stream at the same time. Okay, I'm <laughs> counting. Uh, he's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right. So you can find me, Mister <laughs> Underscore Ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna lose something for him that he never does for me. I'm trying to save him some face. <laughs> oh, come on, I, I, come on! Me and Garza bust each other's balls. No, I know. All the time, I know. Right? That's what I love about the guy. Yeah. So, yeah. but you can find me on Mister Underscore Everett. Um, we do a, a live, a weekly live stream every Wednesday at ten o'clock Eastern Standard Time. This Tuesday we're gonna have a, a live stream at ten o'clock. Uh, we some of you guys here. We're gonna do yes. a round table to celebrate the uh, hashtag uh, us united. There so yes. be on the lookout for that. Cool. All right, and Mr. Matt from Comic Movie Marks. Yeah, I am Matt from one half of the world famous Comic Movie Marks. Yeah, <laughs> world famous. That's like, we do our episodes weekly, just like uh, Tim and Scott. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> you know what guy, you know what you know what i love matt though you you guys found your niche man and, and you're, yeah you're, you're and say, awesome. you guys have like you guys have upped your game and you guys have putting out some good fucking content i, I will say that so cheers everyone yeah. everyone that does the uh, youtube differentiates to a fair amount but there's a lot of like talk show variations and then you guys really carved out your own like yeah mini own entries. like they're yeah. always super awesome yeah, yeah, you really, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, your uh, your editorials, even Chris, same with you, editorials. Yes. I mean, like, I mean, yeah. you guys have really found your niche. Like I said, like I said at the beginning of this thing, I was like, you know what? Everybody's craving content about this stuff, and we're all producing it, and everything's on the on the up and up. Like, like what Tim sent me that you know that whole sixty two percent down. Now mm -hmm. it's all just going up. Everybody is like craving the content, and we're. You know, that's what we're trying to do here is like give everybody content and, you know, we're all diverse voices and personalities and that's what it's all about. And uh, cheers, guys. You know, this was a great night. It was. And hopefully we have more of this stuff. So, you know, you know, you know where to find me, guys. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You know, follow me on the sock meds, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, guys. Good night. Cheers. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Ah, good stuff. All right, guys. We will talk to you later.